Eleanor's showing me her playlist, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We're back. We are back. A lot of the rumors that we quit are just that. They're rumors. What kind of crazy people would spread a rumor that we quit? It's our uh, I our, mean, our enemies. Here. They know how big this show is getting. They're trying to take us down a notch. The show's getting bigger and bigger. We're doing, so we're both dressed ego. for the documentary we're covering. We'll get to it. It is. Muscles you're are wearing, so- uh, if you're not watching the video, you're listening just the audio. Eleanor's wearing a gold gym sweatshirt. What size is that? 18, probably, 8XL? It's got to be like a triple X. It's like, I'm, I'm scared it's going to hit me from the side. It's I'm so assuming billowing. muscles are supposed to be in here and I don't have any. You could jump out of a plane <laughs> without a parachute and that thing would <laughs> just billow out. I did. I I hang glided here with this. Is that the right word? Like, can I get uh, the flying squirrel sleeves? <laughs> Look at those. Look, I was worried I was going to get old lady arms. I got them. Here they are. Look and at you, that. you said you, you had uh, a closet full of gold's apparel to choose from. So gold's gym is a very big deal with uh with some the, of my with, friends. With you, you're you're a former <laughs> member, are you not? I I, I am. But are you I'll a current you, member? No, I went there a couple weeks ago uh, because Dice does love a Gold's Gym and he is who's who's that? Andrew Dice Clay is who introduced me to Gold's Gym. What happened was like when we first started hanging out, dating, whatever you want to call it, we would go to Gold's Gym and I don't know if it was to impress me. Was that with those the first dates? Pretty much. We would go on (laughs) gym dates. Uh, Isn't that weird? You spot me. I got to see your strength. (laughs) What a romantic. Did he, did he pay for your guest He train? is a host, hopeless romantic. <laughs> so he had this thing where he would talk about like, uh, you know, being in the cage, working out. I'm in the cage. He I'm would in say, the cage. that's what he would say when I was a door guy, when before he would go up, he was in the cage. Yes. And on his He'd be membership. like, don't talk to me. I'm in the cage. <laughs> but there was no cage. I thought he should drop one down from the ceiling and it's be a metaphor. In. Yes, it is a metaphor. Him. I don't think he would know what that means, but it is. <laughs> How dare metaphor. you? <laughs> hey, Eleanor, move your microphone down a little bit. Down? Yeah, like turn it. So you yep, see yeah, see my sexy yep, face? Yeah, and then, and then rotate it so it's like angled up towards your mouth. Just like that. Perfect. Ooh. What you, was this your first show? You don't yes. know how, where to put the mic? I mean, now that we're so popular, it is hard. That's true. We're, I, our minds are just on the popularity, not absolutely, on the small Absolutely, absolutely. I'm not worried about what I look like, obviously, or <laughs> what. <laughs> but I do remember on his membership, this is back to D- Andrew, D- whatever. Uh, it said Gold's Gym, and then it said In the Cage, and it had his picture. Wow. Oh, on his did he write gym. that, or they did that? They did it. Wow. And then, Personalized. A lot of people get personalized license plates. He gets personalized gym that's memberships. That's right. And they would give him a lot of clothes to, like, because he would wear them. I mean, it's, it's which is weird, because he usually wears, like, suits and stuff, but... <laughs> It's nice that they <laughs> they were like, hey, you know what? You could use an 18 XL sweatshirt had, to cut up. What if he had a suit, a gold gym suit? I wouldn't like be to shocked. Wear to court? <laughs> wouldn't be shocked. <laughs> he likes. Uh, I, would you call gym apparel what he wears? Absolutely. No, but some of it's like shorts that go down to the ankles. Like it's a little right. different. And and that's what I'm saying. I have gold gym shorts. I have gold gym. A sports bra. Do you have a singlet? A ton of them. Uh, no. Okay. But Do you I have the did Borat, wrestle. The Borat with the suspenders down into That's the- That's sexy. <laughs> no. No, no, no. That's sexy. Um, I have that in a suspender kind of hot pant thing. Does, so does Dice, like, when he's, like, he has something nice coming up, does he go to Gold's to, to peruse? He's like, uh, what do you guys somewhere? got? <laughs> <laughs> Is the only place to buy Gold's uh, fashion at Gold's. Can you buy it anywhere else? I think only at gold. So you have to go into the gym. I'll tell you what recently. Like, I'm not here to work out. I'm just here to shop. Recently, a little bit sexist over there at Gold's Gym. Uh-oh. I'm a little pissy because I always Uh-oh. wear Gold's Gym stuff, right? Like Because my friend got me a lot of Gold's Gym stuff and I'm not going to waste it. It's good quality. So I had, um, I like these sweatpants and me and Andrew were there and I go, oh, I, I like these. And he felt it. He goes, oh. Yeah, these are great. So he got a pair and I got a pair, right? But we paid this time. Normally, he never pays. Oh, he just grabs it. Oh, yeah. If we go to Venice, they give it to him. Okay. I know. I'm sorry. I don't want to blow up his spot, but, you know. Is Venice, no, Venice is not. Is that What's the outdoor one at Venice Beach? That's the Venice. That's, they have that's where you go? Oh, yeah. yeah there's, yeah, I yeah, know yeah, where yeah. Okay. Got it. So um, right on Rose. It's great. And he hasn't been there in years, but it's, it's like 
before when he was at the height of his career that's where he worked out so they were excited and they would give him a lot of clothes so uh i go, he goes oh i like these so we both we bought them and i went home and i was so excited that i had a new pair of like gold gym really good material i put them on and there was like an extra you know how this is with the wings on my arm there was a ball sack holder? yes yes who would need a ball sack holder? i don't know gold's gym especially people on the roids they don't need a sack yeah holder. those things They've shrink sh- up yeah, shriveled sacks i i put them on i maybe tried it's to everything in, maybe it's to put in a fake sack to make it look like you still have <laughs> a sack i almost because kept some, them some clementines just to walk around and fuck with people because you it looks like i had a dick <laughs> maybe it looked like maybe it's for your wallet when you're working out <laughs> yes yeah, that's where you put your do you do you like the ball holder? <laughs> I'm not liking it. You and Dice should do a reviewing Gold Gym uh, video. A reveal it, yeah, yeah. I don't know if he tried them on because I told him I had a problem <laughs> with them, and he goes, "I don't even know where they are." And I'm like, "We just spent fifty dollars on fucking sweatpants, and you don't know where they are." Speaking of Dice, I'm wearing uh, some beautiful. Those are fish, nice fishnet. Those are nice fingerless <laughs> gloves. Buy uh, those specifically for today, or I, no? I had these. I have a you know wardrobe like. Bit. Are these Dice's old things that he would leave at the store? <laughs> yeah, he gave me these. I went to the bathroom. Tell me, you know, you would probably know the answer to this. Uh oh. And then I was like, I peed, and I had to take off the fingerless to wash my hands. Is that, or do you just wash the tips? <laughs> What's the etiquette on that? Take the gloves off. Yeah, I took them off and washed them. Is that what he does, or does he just not wash? He washes it, takes them off. He takes them off. Of course. Does he put on a new pair? He throws them in the trash? <laughs> he never throws them out. I used to have to wash them and I've fold one, them. You sent, me are, a, you sent me a picture. It those was are like, uncomfortable. It was like around the world of all <laughs> gloves. It's unbelievable. He's posted it on Instagram. People can see it if you want to go see it. <laughs> it's, it's uh, What was the campaign they did that was in the Jordan Peele movie? The Hands Around... Oh, I don't know. Hands across America. Hands, Hands across, across America. America? That, it's like what Dice is doing, the fingerless gloves across. Oh. <laughs> it's from here. It's from LA to New York with Big J Ogerson's fingerless. I like this. Big I J, like though, this. he mainly does the winter fingerless. He a, does. It's a different he does. look. But it definitely is a tribute, and he's spoken about it a million that's, times. Um, that's a longshoreman meets Dice tribute. <laughs> so you got to keep your palms. That's Philadelphia verse. You got to keep your palms warm. Yeah, he's like, I want to stay warm. But you need I don't, the tips. I'm not, I'm not gonna work out. But you need the tips for dexterity. I don't even know if Jay lifts. No, I would say he does. Like not. Dice really lifts. Yeah, Dice is. Uh, he's gonna compete, and uh, he might compete. Mr. We, let's talk him about him and Chappelle are gonna compete, and who's the most jacked comedian? <laughs> Chappelle got so jacked, it's crazy. I think it's since it's it's not that he, I'm not saying he looks bad, but I think at, like a year or two ago he was looking real jacked. Yeah, and I think now he's not. Keep, it's not you to keep it up. It's hard. Well, yeah, but I'm saying like he was, he was real doing, thin. Yes, for when his I met whole him, career. he was this real thin. No, but everyone knows when you get older, you p- start to put on muscle mass easily. No, <laughs> without, nat- <laughs> without supplements. Yeah, yeah. I look can. at the Rock. He's he look. At, it's natural. It's Stallone. He being facetious. No, I like this. I'm not. I like this. this. Is sincere. Okay, because I was I'm like, waiting wait, till my sixties and fifties to get real jacked. <laughs> naturally i'm waiting to my 60s to start doing heroin okay i'm gonna good, start doing real good drugs when i'm that's 60. a good goal it's i cut, mean what two years pretty much <laughs> that's why i'm excited about it <laughs> we are uh, this documentary today killer sally killer sally three-parter on netflix i'm it's a little the- upset about the three-parter why it could have been one yeah, but I think they want to milk it sometimes. But uh, this is a real... Milk it how, though? It's not like we had to wait for it to come out. Milk it, you get her big nips. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way this she is, could milk any. This is a real Eleanor Kerrigan, This Is Your wow, Life that is documentary. that is so mean and accurate at the same time. The, the picture, the cover picture is her... I don't know if that... Is that the cover? They use this picture in here. Netflix her on a her on a cannon with the cannon as her penis. There you go. But I think that was unintentional. It's a but tank. It, yeah. She's yeah. On a sorry. Tank. Yeah. Sorry. My military. See, you don't terms. know your military shit. So this is uh, Sally. She became Sally McNeil. Married okay. uh, bodybuilder Ray McNeil. Yes. Both Marines. Yes. Or both in the was he Marine or military? M- Marines. I didn't think you could. Could you? I didn't think you could be as jacked as him and be in the military. Yeah, but I think they were out when okay, they started so, oh, got competing. It. Got it. Because she was still in cooking and stuff 
because she needed the money. Yeah. And then once they got to the competitive level, they were out. A cook like uh, Steven Seagal in Under Siege, <laughs> Casey Ryback. <laughs> Look like, at her. By what the a way, specimen. she's wearing. Uh, if I knew women could get like that, I didn't know that. That's women. Woman in quotes. Woman. <laughs> no, no, because there was a lot of great women bodybuilders. But when I, but you was, like this look? Here's the thing. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a male bodybuilder yeah, because this. I didn't know that women could get like that. So the, I thought you didn't I really didn't have the capability to get. That those arms. Well, naturally, we have leg strength. Again, naturally, strength. I think she admitted to doing some steroids. Oh, absolutely. Which, if you look in this picture, you can see her uh, enlarged clitoris through her <laughs> b- bikini bottom. <laughs> Which is weird because I already have that without the steroids. Oh, so that so it may shri- may reverse it's a it for natural, you. Natural. Oh, I may <laughs> so you, get what the guys get. So you didn't want to be transgender. You just thought to meet your goal. I'd you, have to switch to be a boy. Got it. But I did want to be a boy. A, that's a hell, oh, you did though, For too. sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's a whole nother. And thing. everyone used to tease me and like, l- l- you know, I would play football and stuff and they were like, are you ever going to be a girl? And I'm like, I am a girl. But you're like, I, I don't want to be. <laughs> but that's awful. And then I would spit and they were like, what? Maybe that's your new goal. Instead of this heroin, you become the man Ooh. you've always meant to be. Yeah, me and Caitlin. We wait what would till- your name be? Elandre? Um, <laughs> Eric? I'm trying to think. Eric Kerrigan? What would the name be? Eric? Lenny? Ooh. Some Eleanors go by Lenny. Okay, I like that. Lenny Kerrigan. It sounds Lenny. like an old school. Uh, We'd have to go with like an, an Eleanor versus, what's the guy version of Eleanor, meaning like the elderly name? Edward? Okay. Like, or, uh, no, not Edward. That's still Ed. Orville? Orville. Orville. Orville, Ker- Orville Kerrigan. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if I meet one more new school parent that's like, I named my daughter Eleanor because it's like so hip. <laughs> There's a lot. I've, uh, I've, I've, I've come across You people them. are a problem? Some of them spell that's it. That's not a real thing. Some of them spell it differently than you. E-L-I-N-O-R. There's that. There's E's on the end of them. That's British. Is it? I, I believe. So you don't like that your name is becoming popular? No. It doesn't make you feel good? No, I want it to die with me. Okay. I thought well, I was the youngest Eleanor. Why do you? And now all these young hoes you, are coming up. Why do you round them all up like a psycho and just take take all <laughs> you out together? <laughs> it's a good uh, good independent movie. Horror yeah. movie. You do round you up think... every Eleanor baby and t- child. How did Killer Sally not get in any movies with? Well, they. Like... She said um, when she met Ray. They bonded. They both loved Schwarzenegger movies. That's why it's so funny. Which is very. I mean, these are two the jacked Conan. up. He, if you, Ray McNeil is like beyond Gigantic. beyond huge. I was gonna say even he, by today's standards, and this, this like what they're showing was like I think what early two thousands. Right, and like if you notice, the guy said that um, when they would come to the competitions, that they were like, oh. They don't look freakish. I want to see freakish, and that's yes. when the steroids kind of yeah, kicked the, the, in. Yeah, one of like the bodybuilder. I forget. He was like ran one of the competitions. Yeah, the guy. Like, These natural guys aren't getting the ratings. And they, <laughs> these guys started looking crazy. This Ray McNeil does but not he look. Was he right. ba- doesn't really look human. Is that what you wanted? Like a Ray McNeil as a kid? You, he, he, that's what I'm saying. That's what I saw in the books. That's in what you wanted to be. Bodybuilder books. You I wanted saw. to be like Lou Ferrigno. Yes. Schwarzenegger. Yes. They were so you're gigantic. like, who needs boobies? I need pecs. They have boobs. She had, for a while, before she got fake boobies, she had, her pecs were... Giant. Like, t- solid. But, yeah, like solid. rock. Yeah. Like someone took an ice cream scooper of rocks <laughs> right on her chest, and it seems like it would feel great. And then people think that's sexy. And that's fine. That's that's your That's what I'm into. But, are you really? Yeah, because like, well, that's what my mom, outfit. that's what I grew up... So my mom was like, she's like, oh, I'm going to go do a couple sets. Did you notice that Sally, because the doc is her, most of it's her talk. It's at her talking in an interview. Yes. But then they would, great doc, people who are good for documentaries. She had so much home video footage. A lot. So it's great. To, that's like, she's a perfect candidate. Like Dice Man would be a perfect candidate. Oh my So God. much video. The, he has a doc coming out and they couldn't get through a third of it. You guys, this had. is an 18 potter. <laughs> <laughs> but she, they had so much, like, and she, this was from a time when a lot of people weren't doing weren't a lot doing of video. That. Yeah. But she was also, I mean, I'm, I'm skipping ahead here, but she was, when she got into the bodybuilding, she wasn't 
jumping up as fast. It no, was she, harder she for like the women. She wasn't competing that much, it seemed. She because was, it was she harder was more for of the a women. hobbyist where Ray was the professional. No, he, I don't think she was a hobbyist. I think she wanted to do just what no, Ray was doing, but the men had more opportunities. The women didn't have it as yes. much. And then I think that's still they the case. started. True, but, but it's like porn. If you get in as a guy, you're making next to nothing. <laughs> and look at OnlyFans. Now, yeah. Look at the women are making... I mean, not all, but the one percent. Is 1%. this really going to be your fucking argument? This is the hill I die on. You know what? Then Equal die pay for on men that hill. Die on that shit hill. <laughs> You're going to die over women hill. bodybuilders. I'm no. I'm just saying, in a competitive world, yes, sh- this specific competition wasn't, especially at the time. It was the late '80s, right? When mid they met. '80s, when yeah, they met, mid '80s, and so. Um, you know, they're just watching Schwarzenegger and rubbing one out to him. And yeah. Lou Ferrigno, they, they, who I've met quite a few times, the nicest man. They would do a the couple sets. Man. They would do. Remember, they would. They had videos of them doing like we like. We'll get into what she was into or doing for money, but she was like press, put them on her shoulders. Oh yeah, doing squats. She's, and then they did a tug of war. She's like, "Let me see if I can pull you." That they were like no clothing. That was the one that I was watching a lot. I kept her whining. You're like, "Oh, that's what I want like, to be." Is she, no, no, no. I was like, "Does she have the upper hand she or could, does she, he?" She couldn't move him. He was right. solid. Right. Solid. These as are a keys. Rock. But this is what I'm saying. So. And um, I mean, we I guess we can jump Let's into, get into the, the notes. case, the notes, whatever. But as far as like the case, first of all, her lawyer stunk. Well, you're jumping way ahead. We don't even I'm know she's sorry. a criminal. How dare you? You're right. You're right. At did this you, point, they're in love. Did you enjoy frolicking. the footage of them at Disneyland? The home <laughs> video footage? Because the, they have t- uh, Sally had two she kids. did my favorite pose. She had two kids from a previous, I think, marriage. Marriage. And he, but Ray came in as like this, but like they called him down, I think, after a certain yeah. period of time. Yeah. So they, but they, they were really young. And they too. said, like, oh, we were just like a real wacky fan. They weren't really wacky at all. They were doing like weird, like, well, at Disneyland. Weird bits. And they're like, he, everyone recognized, everyone would stop and look. Yeah, Ray was like naked. He had no clothes on. This guy is giant. But you're saying it like they were doing weird shit. The kids were kind of embarrassed, like, hey, everybody's looking at my mom and dad. He like was a wa- freak show. He was walking too, like, puffed out. It's like, interracial. He's wearing those dice wears them all the time i don't know what they're called but they're like show your nips basically yeah they come nip down he tops. always has his nips out and it's like string in the back yes and string to the front it's the it's, string tank nip it's shower just, it basically is like yeah i have With, a shirt it, he on. was wearing short shorts he was basically naked he had like, biker shorts and people on. like yeah it's crazy people were looking the guy's jacked like beyond belief so people were like is that a pro wrestler what is, who is this so and then when the, the bus went by and he did this pose which yeah, is my struck, favorite the back a, pose i was like oh because he t- tilted a little and I was like oh, I used to practice it oh it was a whole you, thing you were like oh that could have been me <laughs> at Disney getting that bus full of tourists <laughs> what a missed opportunity for meanwhile, you meanwhile I can't even do a sit up but I <laughs> you're like yeah it's weird people are looking this guy's posing in the middle of Disney ooh, ooh. but so they were doing it but the kids were kind of weirded out by it yes, still yes at, which I felt terrible about imagine but, that imagine this is your parents like because this is their whole lives this is just fitness and then the interracial thing the kids said was you keep, also you keep a bringing second that up. issue is this a problem for you uh huh no <laughs> no because I started to say it because the kids were saying I think it. at this time it was less yeah. common. And but, just the way they looked, it was like people were going to stare. Like people say, if if somebody said now, like even 10 years, 20 years ago, oh, it's an interracial couple. I'd be like, yeah. Eh. Like, But in the 80s, of course, here's these two giant bodybuilders. And then the kids kind of looked like red. I mean, you could have blonde, specific, very, very blonde hair. Like if you didn't know them, you weren't you weren't like breaking feature by feature down. You could be like, oh, those are his, their sounds, kids. Sounds like you were. So you're a racist. <laughs> I'm not. I was looking at his physique and you're judging like, oh, him. Right. I was do, like, you know, you, you could. Did you find Ray attractive? No. And I'll tell you another thing. You don't find that level of muscularity in 1986. And Rob can look this up to prove it to you because you didn't believe me before. My brother Jimmy's best friend was Mr. America. Mr. Richard Beretta. Mr. Philadelphia. Richard Beretta. And was he, did, was he where Beretta? Where did he have Beretta? Is that where the show started, Beretta? <laughs> the old show? 
Let's see Richard Beretta, Dick Beretta. Richie is uh, 1986, see? We is had Junior the party. Mr. America. Oh. How dare you? We had the party at the playground, and I have his shirt still somewhere. <laughs> is that Was that his gym, the playground? Did he get uh, across the street from my mom's house? What is else he was still, he? Is he still Jack? 87, 87, he got Mr. America, though. 87, okay. I have his shirt. Um, so I guess it was 87. Look at this. And we had his party. Yes, he had those shirts, and he always had these tight... Um, and I would stare at him, not because was I he was your role attracted model? to him. No, not anymore. At this point, I had outgrown that. Got it. And I wanted to be a backup dancer for um, Rick James. So Very different goal. Very <laughs> it, big switch. Things got re- weird real quick. It seems though you always had, you always wanted to be in the spotlight. Okay, that's from a, what I, okay, from that's what a I through line. And I appreciate, yes. there's Richie. Um, look at this flyer shirt right there. But oh, yeah. That's there what he, he is. Like. The cover of muscular development. So <laughs> he, he looks supernatural as well. <laughs> supernatural meaning like out of, out of this world. So Richie. Heavily tanned, heavily oiled. He, I remember he would wear the tight, um, you know, like these, but like they Na- had stripes. Natural body and fitness. Right? He ain't, yes. He ain't natural. They had they, he has a nip stripes. On, he has a nip tank top on right yes, there. Yes, he does. Is That's he the fuck, tank top. He looks like he's fucking that woman the way they're posing. <laughs> That's none of my business. She's got her leg up like into him. Look at him shaking hands with that guy. He's all greased up. That guy has so much tanner on his hands. But do you know how exciting that was? Is that Jason Alexander hosting a bodybuilding (laughs) competition? And in 1987, we have a party. He brought the trophy. I remember the big trophy. He brought it to the playground. eating cheesesteaks out of it? No, we just hung out and we just partied at the playground because he was just so down to earth. He was just a neighborhood kid. Uh Uh-oh, looks like it. I couldn't even believe that that happened. I see it said Mom Sue's trainer. That's him now. It says Mom Sue's trainer over a hamstring incident Ooh, yeah his mom he's not that ja- he's uh he's still jack by the he, way he looks a lot leaner now came from an extremely athletic his brother larry played football in where italy there you go larry beretta <laughs> everyone knows larry beretta <laughs> hey you the cheesesteak boys <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Mother of three Sue's. Uh, oh. A list celebrity oh, trainer. Okay. So Nicole he was, Dickstein. He was sued. That's a good you name, Nicole Dickstein. Got it. So Richie got sued over. Hey, it's Richie Beretta. It <laughs> I, sounds like. Richard. I got to say Richard because he's professional. It I sounds guess. like uh, another to bring Seagal back. It sounds like out for justice. What, which Remember one do Richie? you think looks Anybody better? Anybody see Richie? It's uh, on the left, he's more Tommy Lee. On the right, he's more like <laughs> Lou Ferrigno. Bodybuild. I like the classic uh, Ferrigno more than the Tommy Lee. I like the Lee. classic Ferrigno. You got way too yeah. many tats. I guess. I mean, what are you going to do? You can't bodybuild forever. He's got to be in his 50s. Oh, how tall is he? Or is he's, that guy, not, he's not tall. That guy's like seven feet tall next to him. He, but he's defi- he's Richie's definitely Blaine. not tall. Is he doing a shocker next to David Blaine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's pointing at David Blaine's nipples. <laughs> Blaine's got some fucking traps on him. I didn't yeah, know, I didn't know nice. he was working with it. Richie, good job. Anybody see Richie Beretta? <laughs> <laughs> Elder was like, he's over here. We're at the playground having a party for him. We're eating cheesesteaks out of the trophy. <laughs> but you remember you and O'Neill didn't believe me. About the Italy. You. you were like, About no. Larry Beretta. I believe Richie Beretta. Right. I Who doesn't know. believe in Richie Beretta? <laughs> I think now he has a gym in in New York somewhere, and that's probably who somebody sued him. We should do a documentary with me and you. Oh, Richie! We go work out oh. with Richie. We see if we can get more jacked. <laughs> Why does David Blaine always look so t- like dead in the eyes? Uh, because he's a magician, and those people are scary and dead. Like, look at him. he just looks. They're dead on the inside. They just happy. walk around and scare people on the outside. And his tits look low for and his is body. That, who, what is that? Is that the Lincoln Monument on his stomach? There. What is that? On Blaine? Yeah, looks like a man. To, behind his right arm y- yeah i like that he's shirtless posing with his shirtless trainer and he's like let me get a deck of cards real quick <laughs> for the picture <laughs> what are the deck of cards for i know you're a magician <laughs> comics don't hold microphones like when fighters do the fist in pictures i know you're an mma fighter i don't need to see the fist like comics every picture i take with somebody i'm gonna have to put a microphone <laughs> it's like i'm a comic i'm a comedian or like a, a rubber chicken, like, whoa, yeah. hey. <laughs> hello, hello. Whoa, whoa, look at David Blaine. Oh, boy. Where's Blaine been? He hasn't done anything. Ooh, naked? Just Blaine crazy. Ooh. Just <laughs> That's what it says. Why is he posing Does naked? Does say that? Why is he posing naked so much? I mean, he's showing off what Richie p- turned his body into, this I guess. This is my trainer, Richie Beretta. Everybody see Richie? <laughs> 
Like, hey, it's over at Gold's Gym. Hey, I thought it was anybody seen Bobby Lupo. No, it's anybody seen Richie. I want to know why I killed Bobby Lupo. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. Ah. Richie was uh, Forsyth, who we know somebody who dated Forsyth's daughter. Right. And he, I, he repeated, Beautiful young lady. Terrific actress, FYI. Of course. I love her. But is Blaine doing porno? Why is he like naked? I don't know. I'm not going to rub one out to him because I might uh, disappear. We're no. just trying to find that no, monument no, on no. his... Uh, now I'm doing porno. Right this side. This is how I talk. I'm David Blaine. But let, 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 let's go back to the, the steroid thing. No, I want right? to talk about David Blaine for a few minutes. <laughs> steroid thing. Look at um, Richie's little dinky right there. How dare you? That's a, that's Karen. a huge quad. The, the My leg. sister used to say, uh, I'm not attracted to those guys because what happens is they take those steroids yes. and their dicks shrink, okay? And their, their balls. Their dicks shrink. And we'd be sitting there with Richie and I'm like, care. And Richie's like, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and, he'd but run, his brother, and he'd run away to the playground. His by brother himself. Larry was a, a terrific athlete, so he was completely different. Was but Larry still jealous? Built. Nice. Or vice versa. No, no, they were really close. Who was the? No, they were really tight. Who was the apple of the Beretta family's eye? Was it Larry or Oof, was it? Dick, that's tough. Dick because Beretta. The, the were dad, there any females? Yes, there were a few females, um, and and they're all of them are older than me, so I did not grow up with them, but okay. they grew up with my older half of brother and sisters, and so. Um, the dad, I think Larry was the club, like he was my brother Johnny's age, but Richie was Jimmy's age, and then there was. I don't remember the girls' names. I'm terrible, but they were Karen and um, Elaine. Uh, they were my sister Elaine Karen and Beretta. Kathleen. <laughs> <laughs> but the dad was a um, like coached everybody in the neighborhood. Like he was a, a baseball coach officially, or just would walk around being like, no, hey, no, pick officially. Up this bat. But he he took a few kids to like big tryouts really? and big got them in colleges and things like that. Absolutely, it's yeah. Mr. Sounds, Beretta was always sounds suspicious. Yeah, <laughs> it does. But like Marty, my friend Marty Cavello, it, that he got a real bad injury. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> his name? You know what? Marty Cavello, <laughs> Richie Beretta. <laughs> it was an Italian neighborhood. Johnny dude. Colombo, <laughs> Arturo Gotti. Every time I say a name. Steve Simone would be like, here's your bell for greatest name I ever heard. Because I would say uh, always... Ricky Tabarelli, or my other friend Ronnie Beyond Cool. Like he was just Jesus. saying all these names. And then there's the Kerrigan. You could have a spelling bee, <laughs> spelling bee of last names. Yeah, the Kerrigans don't even fit in this. Why'd you guys get into this neighborhood? Um, I, my dad put us in the wrong neighborhood, I he think. The, the Irish Italian. on 2nd Street. Maybe it was yeah. cheaper. And 30th. No, I think it was just they found this house. They were renting he it. He liked the cuisine, the meatballs. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> Every Sunday. <laughs> so I don't know where we are, but did it did it seem cool? Oh. The first part, and I think obviously by design, they paint this as like a happy family. Everyone they're married. Right. But then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the son, who seems very dead inside, which we'll get to later of why, uh, in his interviews, because the son and the daughter they're now adults being interviewed. Uh, and he's just like, My stepfather was the devil to me. And just out of nowhere, I was like, Whoa. That came. Like, well, that, it, 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 that was a sudden, they were young. Yes. They're getting hit. I, I don't like. They were alleging that, or I don't think even alleging the son and daughter. No, both no, say no. It. I'm never saying alleged when the kids say well, it. And like Sally that. Ray was he was on all sorts of steroids, which oddly didn't come up when obviously a crime takes place later. Which is so weird. Sally was there. He had five strands in him. Sally was bankrolling. Yes. raised steroids for the competition yes. so she was working she was the one when she, she was, started doing the videos that's what made money the she wrestling was, she videos. was going down to tijuana to the With pharmacias the and then good. the produ the interviewer and the uh doc said i think one of the few parts they had her talk she's like eh, did you take the kids did you feel weird and she got real defensive and shut it down you could see glimmers because they said everyone said sally had a temper later you could see it in a few of the interviews immediately she's i like, saw she's it like, she right then she's like it was a different time and I, it was a bad decision <laughs> you could tell that she, one she felt guilty but she shut it down it's yeah. guilt it's anger it fear like, it all just came yeah, in one talk but me. you saw her snap in an instant and then uh, one of the things that freaked me out like when they started competing heavily or Ray started competing. She goes, it was weird. The kids were like, it was weird because we would have to like spray tan my mom and spray tan my dad. And I was Ugh. like, oh boy. He's like, get those You're butt cheeks. You're rubbing that, yeah, on Ugh. the ass cheek. Uh, That's all I could think about. All their like, furniture oh. must just be covered in tanner. 
You're like, don't sit on that couch. It's got fresh tanner on it. You, people think you're in blackface. You, you want to get a, a tan, you just roll around on their couch <laughs> like, oh, after come they over. sat down. Her, so her, how she, just, how she, I don't, did it say how she got into it? What? She started getting more and more jacked in the military, got into fitness. Well, so she was getting jacked. She was, so the women were getting more into the competition. Yes. There was that woman, of course, I'm going to forget her name. I thought I wrote it down. The, um... The black lady that she looked up to. Who, yeah, I forget who, Amazing name. body, by the way. Oh, unbelievable. And she said she beat... Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger has only yeah, seven has titles more, and no she one, has eight. No one knows But who that's she is. awesome. Yeah, because men are pigs. And But Sally was doing these weird competitions where like they weren't even posing. You had to do like no. a million bench presses and then like 58 <laughs> sit-ups and then go do nine pull-ups. But that's because they didn't know what to do with women. So they were trying to like come up with yeah. shit to no, like, like be now inclusive see if you can nurse that baby over there and then, then go <laughs> nothing's coming out it's all stuck it's just a needle <laughs> just, so she was doing those the kids like this by the way i think you would be in those competitions for if a she breastfed do you think the kid would be all jacked yes. from the steroids and, like and the kids just walking around green like the hulk permanently angry <laughs> <laughs> so sally gets into doing uh muscle fetish videos and that guy was for the money creepiest they, man. they had a guy who used to make them i think still do they still do them? they must right? yeah that guy was like i'm not gonna sell any videos after this documentary yeah you shouldn't he's an old get pervert. out of the business you sicko so he trained her did you in- see how he tried to make the joke i'm 78 but i look I'm not really 78. You look every bit of yeah. 78, he if was, not more. He was an old creep on his couch talking about muscle videos <laughs> with his VHS collection around. He was into it. <laughs> he was in the videos. <laughs> so she, if you don't know about this, which you're missing out. You have it's, to. It's a big trend out there that I'm into <laughs> and my kids. We all do it together. <laughs> uh, you, you, There are these muscle women. And you go, you meet them either, they come to your place, or you meet them at like a motel or a hotel. Right. And you do like, you, I think you can do an hour, you, whatever amount of time you're paying for, and they basically just dominate you via wrestling. The, these were called schmoes, but she the, didn't the call The guys were called schmoes, and she, Sally, said I would never call them Disrespect them. These them. people were m- paying me money, good money. They paid for my husband to get all jacked up. Every video they showed was just a guy's face buried in a lady's pussy and, he and goes, her like squeezing he goes, it or doing like some sort of like leg scissors and they're like Ooh. the guy goes you could call it a fetish but if you could show your mother it's not that bad and i was like they say, wait a minute i thought they were alluding to like these guys would jizz their pants doing this that's what i thought that's what it seemed like and, well i mean you probably did yeah i did just watching it immediately and then i called them i got on craigslist and i was like i gotta find some gotta of these ladies guy. but she would have like some guy's head in between her legs yes. just sn- about to snap but his neck thinking about her and family he's jizzing and he's like oh, <laughs> hold on do you think would he get disgusted right after or would he continue the wrestling uh i guess he would just continue the wrestling she's like some of them i love how she talked she talked like talk, she talked like yeah. some of your friends you son and of a bitch. she's like some of these guys you know they want you to degrade them and say things to them but some of them just wanted to wrestle just because she's from pennsylvania you're saying this because it's not even close to where i'm from you know pennsylvania she's from, is pretty Al- big. She's from allentown all right that's pretty close she uh i like the video of her wrestling in the snow it's no, like an hour away she's wearing like a tank top or a bikini oh yeah the, ru- the she threw the guy in Which the is snow I, being in the snow is terrible it's pretty bare impressive. skin is not good what do you mean it's not good yeah it but hurts. people do it all the time yeah of course but you don't wrestle muscle-bound <laughs> women in the snow <laughs> do you think with your professional wrestling background how would you fare against sally mcneil in a wrestling match well uh, uh, pretty well because i'm going to say this i think your face would be buried in her butt Asshole by the for, way this is the weird part about these type of people bodybuilders richie beretta they can't Shout fight out. a lot of them can't yeah they cannot fight too muscle they bound. cannot they, 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 they don't have agility arms, yeah short shorter arms and they yeah they can't really get i have in. seen guys big as richie bigger than richie well richie's not real tall mm-hmm. but i'm saying like i've seen tall giant body and I've seen them get knocked out by smaller guys. Yeah, it happens. Way smaller. It happens guys. a lot. And they don't know like the form of fighting. They're just mm-hmm. into the, they're into fitness, they're not in, fighting. They're into the lifting. Where other now, guys are into fighting. Ray seemed like because they're Marines, that's the different Well, part. they're trained. To fight. Right. Yes. So they are trained in combat. They are trained both of them. Trained in mortal combat. Yeah. Did you notice they Terrifying. kept saying Ray was so small? 
height wise. <laughs> I looked up his height because it was think bothering that's me. To get him angry, he was five eleven. But they're like some of these guys are six two. I'm like it's only three inches. Not like he was like five one. Yeah, five eleven isn't that. It's not bad. tiny. I guess for the bodybuilding. I, I think world. Richie's only like five eight. Sorry, Rich. Richie, and I'm he not won, trying he to won. put you down. I'm just saying. And they also said they also were like Ray's calves just weren't up to par. Oof, when they all put that's them, a big deal though. When they put them all on the line, I couldn't tell anything. Up, I couldn't tell who. Then you don't have an eye for it. I do. I could. <laughs> I bit, could tell. That's a bit. You take that back. No, that's an insult. You do not have an eye for I'll it. I'll fight you over that. For, by the way, my brother Jimmy has the biggest calves I've ever seen in my life. Like Popeye, it worse. Like they're gi- I don't know. I think it's because when he was a kid, he used to walk on his tippy toes. <laughs> I don't know why I don't know how it happened and we all joke about like jeans get insanely tight he has to get like so, bell bottom so he's not a skinny jeans guy no neither am I I have big calves I don't think as big as your brother no but these are uncomfortable to look at I worked one of my day gigs when I moved to Hollywood was I worked at a gym I was the front desk guy mm-hmm. and there was a trainer there named Sally jacked not, <laughs> killer, as, ja- killer not, Sally. not as jacked as this Sally okay. but jacked and she would always come behind the desk and be like, you have the nicest calves. Can I touch them? And it made me so uncomfortable. And she's like, That's, I'm not being weird, am I? And I was like, uh, yeah, no. And then she would just rub my legs. And I was like, so weird. <laughs> Did it all the time. Did you ejaculate? A few times. Oh, okay. But that was what made it weird is that I was at work and I was coming onto the desk. Right. That other people had to use. <laughs> So there this, wasn't this, as many wipes back this then. This made me think of that and relive that trauma that I had to go oh, through. Oh, did you have PTSD from it? Yeah, I don't really want to talk. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just gonna, I'm I don't want leave. you to snap on me. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't want to talk about it. It was a different time. I liked when the daughter said, my mom was doing the wrestling and it was disgusting. The guys were so creepy. Was she bringing them into the house? I'm assuming. House Because calls? she took over. She left the guy and started doing her own production. You imagine. Which is why there's so many home videos as well. You imagine. The, imagine confusing them. The lo- Yeah. You'd have to clearly mark those tapes. <laughs> Some guy with a boner getting mad on your carpet. You're like, hey, I, I just wanted a question on my homework. Oh, you're busy? <laughs> Some guy's like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> Mom, I thought this was our Christmas tape. That's a sin. You imagine the line of guys with comb overs outside of her apartment oh, waiting to get yes. in? They lived in like an apartment building, not a house. Yeah. They and had to like, walk up the oh, stairs. They're probably uh, sitting at the steps, like Woody waiting Allen for their types. T- I'm here to see you, Sally. <laughs> get in here. You're in By the way, with the name Sally, it's such like a meek name. It's such like a Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Back like, in the day, it was Sally. like what they would call a man who was effeminate. Like, you Sally. Yeah. And yeah. This lady was like, fuck that. I'm breaking the mold. Sally, huh? She's like, oh, you want to wrestle? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get called Sally? Did I? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it was because I thought I looked like John Sally from the Pistons. <laughs> Old spider. <laughs> Did you notice... A word being mispronounced throughout this whole documentary. Okay, no, I'm probably wrong. It's a holiday. It's when the murder took oh, place. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's my favorite it thing. I wrote it me, down. I wrote it. I literally wrote it down it because was driving it makes me, me so happy. Crazy. So flash forward, a murder goes down in this doc, well, not in the documentary, but it's what the Obviously. documentary is about, Killer Sally. I mean, come on, put it together, guys. You got it. You got it. But- yeah. She kept saying, it was on Valentine's Day, and she kept saying Valentine's over. Every single person and, I know says Valentine's. Is that a P- Pennsylvania thing? I don't know. Over and over. She's like, it was Valentine's Day, and Ray was out. He wasn't home. Valentine's Day used to mean something to me. Valentine's. And I was like, oh my God, she said it 7,000 times. I was like, just stop saying it. I thought you, you were going to say the a word. different no, word. It was Valentine's. And I was like, but Valentine's I did write down because- <laughs> Valentine's. <laughs> my sister's birthday is Valentine's Day, and I specifically- Worked very hard. You had to go to, to a, learn. You had to go to a therapist. Valentine's. They're like it's an versus end. Valentine's. Oh, it's not the time of Valentine's. I can call any person in my neighborhood, and they'll be like, "What Valentine's Day? Are you coming home for Valentine's Day?" Is it true that the Hallmark stores there do Valentine's to appeal to the market? They're like, "What do you think? We're stupid." Valentine's. Look at all these mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's. Oh, man. Oh, we're not all English majors in Pennsylvania. That's true. God. So Ray, Ray, they, they like kind of- They got married on Valentine's Day. Yes. They, <laughs> Valentine, she killed Ray on she Valentine's Day. She shot him Day. on Valentine's Day. Twice. 
killer twice. times day. Okay, so so we can get into the um They fu- they kind of they bury the lead that he was cheating on her until like way late in okay, the documentary. Okay, this is the thing I hate about documentaries, right? So this is the thing that's going to bother me to the end. So you, you what this one specifically they they cut in three parts. Yeah. Didn't need to. So you, now You thought it should have been a movie like. Just a movie. Just okay. make it a movie. Okay, you're wasting my time three things. And then also the very first, I'm like, oh, he's a monster. He's a piece of shit. He's awful. He, the, from the first episode. Mm-hmm. He's awful. Beat the kids. This, that. You know, punching her. Um, Cho- he was big in the choking. Choking her. her. Yeah. So a guy and, like that is a lot of grip strength. Then, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. So so she, he can throw, pick her up and throw her. Yes. And she was small. She too. was 5'3". She was really little. A short lady. And so she, uh, she could throw him around too, but... He, you, you still, a, you're still you're still fighting a man. She's in, but a you're huge, still fighting a man on steroids. Who's right? Huge. So I'm sick from him. And then we go to the second part, and they're like, "All oh, those were lies." I'm like, "Wait, what?" Well, they gave us another side of the story because Sally was no angel, which I believed from that moment. But she sounded snapped. sounded very jealous as well because she yes. found out that Ray was cheating on her a Valentine's Day. <laughs> Ray's nowhere to be found. Sally's all alone on Valentine's. Yeah. No one to spend it with. She And she's like, so I'm at home. I'm but putting on my lipstick. I'm getting ready to go to the bar. <laughs> By the way, I think the more I learn is she's going to the bar for a confrontation. She's like, she, I just wanted to see if he's there. You know, my impression of Valentine's Day with my husband is we spend it together. You don't spend it with your whore, with you your spend slut. spend it with me. <laughs> yeah. I, that's what I expect of a marriage. I'm like, that's all you expect. She's like, I pay your roids. <laughs> like, this is the weirdest relationship. And that's what I'm saying. Because she, she also would say, I paid, I spent 40000 or whatever it was. Yeah. She tallied how much she spent. Do you know how many it? eggs Ray was eating a week? 114. It, you got, is that right? Yes. She said their Costco, it, their Costco bill. The steaks. Oh you imagine she God. had a fucking grocery cart of eggs at Costco. <laughs> today they would be like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, today they'd be like, "Look, lady, you got to get some more." Are different you a protein. billionaire? <laughs> yeah. What are you, Mark Cuban? <laughs> How are you buying these eggs? <laughs> You're like Ray shriveled up. He can't eat his eggs. <laughs> what do you eat like? What he split just, in half? Is he sixty something and sixty something? Do you think she throws eggs at his uh, burial site? Only on Hall- Hall- <laughs> wine time. <laughs> Halloween's. Uh, so then, Halloween. So Ray comes home. Halloween. They get in an argument, and this was one of my favorite parts. She tells Ray, and this is in the bodybuilding world. This is these are fighting words. Like when you said that I couldn't have an, I didn't have an eye for the muscles. Okay. She said, you look like shit. You're not going to place at all in the contest. You're not even striated. <laughs> which, <laughs> which, like, it, it cut him deep. That cut him deep. You don't say that yes. to a bodybuilder. By the way, Ray McNeil never won shit. He, he, he would get, like, no. 15th. He was. That's what I'm saying. He's placing 15th. You're not making any. She's spending 40 grand. You're making no money. They She's got money. 80 guys with toupees and headlocks, and this fucker's not even placing properly? She has, yeah, guys comb over hairs in her vagina. I'm not <laughs> saying I'm still on her side, but I'm on her side. And it's this Valentine's. Is Where's Ray? Valentine's? You, your bankroller. Valentine's Day, your bankroller, you're not placing for. Now you're out screwing somebody else. You're out eating eggs at eating someone else, eating omelets at someone else's You're place. eating somebody else's eggs. <laughs> Fuck that. How dare you, Ray? So she ends up shooting Ray. This, uh, this is the messed up part. She describes walking out of the apartment handing the shotgun to a passing neighbor. Can you imagine walking by? She goes, but I th- didn't want the cops to that's shoot military. me. That's military. That's military. You'd be like, what the fuck? Why? What? I don't want the shotgun. Doesn't matter. You it's would military. take it. You'd be like, I would take you're it. You're like, and I ain't gonna tell the cops nothing. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> the, the, the person gave the gun in. The person just held the gun like she's but the I one just, that shot. I just picture we got the gun away from her because if the cops showed up and she's got a gun, I understand. And they will open fire. Sally's got a gun. No, but she. Maybe I you've picture never somebody, had encounter with police. I picture somebody with a laundry basket just like walking across. Like, take this shotgun. I just yeah. killed Ray in here. If you have a weapon. They have to. No, I get it. Yeah. So if somebody you, takes by it, the way, you can also have the you can also have another weapon. True, and I'm sure you know. But she called nine one one on herself, which is also a good sign that you're not going to resist. Right. But but she was she, just covering her bases. The nine one one call freaked me out a little bit because the the, the daughter's the kids freaking out. Screaming. The woman's like, "Who is that?" She's but like, she, the kids were like, 
We hated him. The kids had this. And I'm not saying they wanted him dead. They didn't want him dead. Like, they just wanted it to end. Like 10 or how, like, I don't know, 10, 12, how, to see. They said his fucking matter was all over them. Had to be. Had to be. It was there all must have been bu- bu- biceps on That's the chandelier. They- I don't know why they had a chandelier in the apartment, but they did. One of his weak calves were on the... They're like, oh, look how small that calf is. That was Ray McNeil. That was Ray McNeil. <laughs> what if she's like, his body parts are out, and she's like, that's why you didn't place, fucker. There must have been oil We could have had a good Valentine's Day, and you ruined it. So she shot him once. She claims he was charging her, but it sounds like he was just cooking or something, wasn't he? Well, it, it, that's a, this Her story... It didn't add up. Chival- and like, this is another up. point where... And then she... The DA, uh, the prosecutor, proved she walked. She had to reload the shotgun. And had to walk. She said all she the way, had it on her. I had to walk all the way to the bedroom. That part never changed. Where she said she had the two bullets on her. Anybody yeah. that used shotgun. Said, Some knows of this may be to. different. This is twenty five years ago. She kept getting mad. It's like eh, it when she stuff. snapped like that. That was another one where I was like, okay, bitch, we get it. You have some anger too. You have some re- residual roid rage. You definitely have work you have to do on yourself. Muscle wise, those calves weren't that good on her either. Let's be honest. She had great legs. <laughs> she had great legs because she, she was little, and when, they have an advantage. You short fuckers have an advantage because somebody like me, it would take longer to get my legs to look big. There was short a, always goes better. There was a Hanukkah once. I didn't know what to get my dad. Know your bodybuilder. Know your role. You don't know him. I got my father for Hanukkah one year. I sent him which to, day the sent, first or the fifth or sent the eighth? him to san diego to do a wrestling match with sally <laughs> we have the tape to this day him just getting it's choked amazing. out yeah it's what your dad like this is amazing father and son oh he's like thanks experience. so much i wish you could have been here that's so good i appreciate <laughs> everything you do <laughs> i'm sure i'll appreciate that mention <laughs> i hope he listens uh sally gets brought in didn't ask uh, for a lawyer in questioning. Always but, but, a good move. Okay, here uh, that is the number one thing you can take from this is no matter what you get in trouble for, if you're being questioned by the police, just say, I need a lawyer. I want to speak to a Regardless lawyer. Regardless if you did it or not. Immediately. Even if you didn't do it. Immediately. Yes. She genuinely thought. She's like, oh, I'm fine. If, she was spilling her fucking guts. But even if in her mind, right, when she shot him, that she did have to go, but she kept saying she took both bullets. So she, I don't think she had to go. I think he was getting away because the matter on the wall is what they figured out. I have that in my notes, but she shot him in the face the second shot, and he said he was already dead. He was he was already that's what I'm yeah. saying, crawling away, yeah, and or crawling toward, and she was like, oh, he's not dead yet. He's not going to do any damage. Doesn't matter. She's a battered woman. I agree. So and. As B.J. Novak once famously, famously said, battered woman sounds delicious. <laughs> Before he got the office. Is that right? Shout out to B.J. Novak. Way to go, B.J. My good friend from Massachusetts. <laughs> we talk often. Uh, sh- the cop said uh, there there's different kinds of kids. There's a whodunit versus a what is it. Yeah. This is the latter. This. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Sally, uh, she oddly wraps a blanket around her waist during the questioning, well, okay. like a dress, and then decides to take a nap, which the the prosecutor's like, if you're comfortable enough to take a nap in the middle of an interrogation on a murder, if you killed your husband, he's like, it doesn't look good. Although- Not good I'm, optics. I gotta be She's honest. She's like, I was in out. shock. Time out. I'm narcoleptic like that. If I'm nervous or if I'm scared or if I'm pissed off, I've literally been in the middle of heated fights with my first ex fiance and if he was uh, if we had a good relationship he could tell you it's true i would fall asleep i would fall asleep i think that was your technique you're like an old it was person. like i have to uh, it, there's i'm gonna flip out i'm gonna lose it so i'm just gonna go to sleep see i told you you relate to this lady it's the philadelphia the pennsylvania connection shit the, her her shit. lawyer she gets the uh state appointed not the good. da was a dick the da was a Douche. Douche. Oh, the worst. Big time. And he preyed on her. And you know what? He's still around and he should be ashamed of himself. The uh the her lawyer, as you said earlier, terrible. Horrible. Outmatched. Oh, he's like, I think it's a good idea to take this approach. Well, it isn't. Look at her. He, well, he, because he, the he, DA was correct. He immediately You don't said, look at a woman that big. Built. Strength. You don't think of that woman as 
being battered. She, Even though it does happen all the time, ladies. She, she gets bailed out. Who bails her out? The schmoes from the wrestling. Yes. And she's Way like, to go, these schmoes. are these people who, you call them it, they bailed me out. Uh, she gets out. Her shitty lawyer says, don't lift weights. You got to take all the shoulder pads out of your outfit. It outfits. was the 80s and we had to take the shoulder pads out. He's like, we want, we want him to know you're- Wait, n- is it the 80s or 90s? Now it's 90s. 90s now. He's like, we want him to know you're not a big woman for the case. Yeah. By the way, did you notice in a photo that Ray had a shirt that's cut above the nips? One of his shirts? Yeah, those are the, those are back in style now. Above the nips? Yeah, girls are wearing their bras showing. So Ray had a shirt that- It, goes, it was just like a- It mid-nip. It was like a dicky. <laughs> You're paying for nothing. <laughs> Girls wear them. Look on it. Uh, what's it called? TikTok. To here. I'm not on TikTok. These little hoes, and then they have the under boob out. It's very big to have the under boob out. Rob's wearing one right now. And Rob, the, your under boobs are looking good, buddy. He's got great under tits. A little uh, a crop top is, I guess, the legit name, but uh, the under look. This is gr- look. See the girl right at the top, Ray McNeil. Looks, oh, he looks better go. in it than these chicks. Little uh, one of the young Kardashian hoes. I didn't know What's Ray. Her name? I didn't know Ray McNeil was such Bella a fashion Hadid. plate. What's her name? That's Bella Hadid. Oh, that's Bella Hadid. I'm sorry. They all look alike. Her mother had Lyme disease. You have some goddamn respect. I'm sorry, but look. See those. That's the new how to go to the gym like that. Wait, that's not Kylie. Oh, maybe it didn't. Let's see. So they all watch Ray McNeil, and they're like, you know what? Is underboob the new cleavage, Vogue asks in this article. No, it says Bella. You're right. Oh, no, that's, no that's Kendall Jenner. Oh, Kendall. Right, okay, right. I, that's the right. That's I knew the tall it was a That's the tall Jenner. That's labeled in uh, Google. That's the tall Got Jenner. It. Yeah, the, the model, the young one. Yeah. She's beautiful. This part of the documentary is when the bombshell comes out that Sally... A little aggressive. Some problems with aggression. <laughs> but then, okay, so then they go back to the kids, right? And then the kids are like, oh, yeah, my mom had a terrible temper. And I'm like, wait, wait, but wait, they wait also, where was that in the they, first stop? They said both <laughs> signs, though. They're like, Ray Wood Strangler and stuff. It's like, oh, yeah, my mom was crazy. So, it's, okay. He's, Every witness, they said to a person that Sally was violent. Everybody. From the balcony once, she threw dumbbells down on his car as he drove away. Imagine seeing that in, the, in your apartment. But also, when the cops came, they called the cops on her, and they threw her down the concrete steps, and she got up and did a wrestling pose, like, no, come it, at it me. it took five cops to get her out of the apartment. And then they then threw they her. Then they threw her down the steps, classic concrete step throw they teach that at the, the academy she and stands she up like, she's like all right now let's you know let's video bring it, it. bring it like wait <laughs> this isn't a video you're not and she's, money she's trained that. she's a marine they don't fuck exactly around. so but her I'm, military record also full of like some violent incidents and i don't believe you look if she had violence and she hit him and he restrained her or hit her back i get it if you're both hitting each other it's fucked up and I can't say like, uh, like my dad would say, don't ever hit anybody without expecting to get hit back. Except your wife. Ever. My dad never hit my mom. One time my mom told me that and my dad's big and she, and his hands are uncomfortably big, like an ape, like he could walk on them. <laughs> and so he, um, she got real close. She said, she goes, go ahead, hit me, go ahead. And he, she said his whole body was trembling and he walked out and she goes, I got so scared. And I was like, why would you test the bear? But she was so angry that it got her to that level. I mean, then he did leave her with 10 kids. So, uh, you know, but that, she, he, hit her, he hit her where it hurt. He did. He, <laughs> he's, like, I'll hit you there. he's like, I can't physically hit you, but watch this. But she, I, and my mom's little, like, to your mom's, get in Your mom's his three face. foot five. I was like, oh my God, are you crazy to get in his face? Another great story of Sally is the, uh, the son said my mother was very aggressive. Uh, she'd brag about wearing rings and she said, when Oof. I punch someone, it's going to leave a dent in their head, a la Al Bundy in the movie Dutch. He would wear yes. a ring and he would hit, he'd leave a forehead notch. That's a uh, good uh, that's a reference. It's a good movie. Then the son uh, got, he beat up a kid. The kid's dad slapped Sally's son in the face. He says, the kid says- I'm on Sally's side on this one. The kid goes, you're in so much- No, this has never been not said. In the history of the world, he said- That's not true. He said, you're in so much trouble when my mom gets home, you have no idea what kind of crazy <laughs> my mother is. My nephews would say the same thing about my uh, sister-in-law, Monica, or me. <laughs> uh, so or Karen. She, so she went over to the guy's house, and sure enough, he was in trouble. She opened the door and started punching him in the face. Right. 
That's right. I'm she, on Sally's side. She beat a mailman up. That's the one where the cops. That's <laughs> the one, that's where the cops had to uh, throw down the stairs. When he Who goes, beats their mailman up? You see the guy every fucking day, and he can he can fuck with your mail. The son goes. Hey, she beat the mailman up. And I was like, <laughs> like, wait, wait, what? Way inappropriate. Like, why? But apparently, he said so. no. It wasn't the son who said it. it was Ray's friend. Yeah. who said it because she, said she was fierce like a mother bear but right it sounds too like the, the, the mailman said something to her kid he's probably like hey i'm delivering the mail i don't know who but yes they're both on steroids and that heightens everything and that gets you crazy it gets you horny don't do steroids remember at the, i liked that the, the uh, sally was at a competition it was one of ray's friend who reminded me kind of a bill cosby some of his mannerisms he the, the guy from golds or oh no the I older guy Okay. He would smile and laugh, but at like very dark things he was saying. I was like, I don't know if he's nervous. He's like, Ray was going to leave her. Ray he, told like, me. But he's like dying laughing. He's like, and then she killed him. I'm like, wait, what? So Sally's uh, on stage, and all of a sudden she leaves stage, middle of a televised, con- or what, I don't know, it was being videoed. I, yeah. Attacked a woman, and the woman said, fuck you. She's like, stay away from my husband. She said, fuck you, Sally. And you don't say that to Sally McNeil. No way. The friend said, she started punching her, not like a girl, like a guy. <laughs> <laughs> and she was screaming over and over again, "You fucked my husband!" And if you're gonna you imagine punch, being in the competition, punch is a guy. Oh, that's the name of your book. Fuck yeah! <laughs> don't don't none of this weak shit. All the way back. All you have, way pu- in. You have punchlines like a guy. That's what they say about you on the comedy <laughs> circuit. This in this part of the doc, they reveal Ray was cheating on her with some lady named Marianne. Yeah, who he had been with for a while. Like it, was, but it also, wasn't just like a one time deal. But let's go back to like Ray's violence and Sally's violence. Like Ray, the fight he had at the bar where he told his daughter that he may or may not have blinded somebody. Yeah, he poked the guy's. And eye then up. the other guy was like, "Oh, I remember that." night but then they're like ray wouldn't be violent like ray I'm was like, a great guy hold on a second obviously people are by you know they were his friends e- exactly they were both terrible they were bad toxic they were couple. a toxic couple yes. yeah and she was fueling them with steroids to make it more toxic <laughs> like what'll help this egg steroid egg steroid steroid egg she would mess it up <laughs> is that a dice bit <laughs> <laughs> Only me and you understand that. <laughs> uh, the friends say, uh, the friend said, Ray got around always. There were, he's like, Ray got around. That was the guy who started laughing. He's like, there were always people who wanted to meet him. Basically, he's fucking all these people. But he did. He had like nice eyes. Like his face, I, I'm not into the body part, but it's, he did have a nice eyes. Do you know face. how old he was when he died? No. 30. I thought he was like 50 years old. Because I think that's the, her too. I think the roids age you. The, the roids age you because she looked a thousand. She looked, she was like, I'm not saying she was as like hot, but she was, was pretty cute. And then when she got muscular, for me, I, I 100%. I tapped out. Some it's, people like it, not for me. It's the roids. It draws everything out of your face. It's so bad. What is this? Oh. Yeah, Ray, and Ray, so uh, Ray, he was 30 years old. I thought, I was like, what? When I heard it, I was shy. I, was I did shocked. think he was older. So I did. 30? And then she- 30's young. Yeah. Real young. Yeah. Especially to die, but I couldn't believe it. Yeah, uh, so she's, and the guy said, because Ray was fucking around so much, she's like, I knew how Sally could be, and I was scared for him. But in hindsight, I mean, who knows, that's hindsight, but, but that's what he said. But the guy, that guy showed up. At the apartment to meet, he said, "Come to meet me that night, Valentine." Oh, the other, night. yeah, the other friend did, yeah. And uh, because she got all dressed up to go to the bar, aka to fight this woman, I think. to possibly fight this woman. She's and like, I got or, my good brass knuckles for Valentine's. <laughs> She's putting all these rings on. <laughs> How come you don't put makeup on, Mom? No need for it. Um, makeup doesn't leave dents on heads. <laughs> I don't want to leave any lip print. Why do you have a frying pan in your purse? That makes it better to swing. Cast iron skillet? (laughs) What are you doing? Uh, Yeah, just it. So she went to the, she was going to the bar to whatever. She said the bar like everyone watching the documentary would know it. She's like, I was going down to McCabe's. (laughs) But here's the thing if you're from that area, then you know people hang out and that's It's a bar slash gym. They had weight. but also, can you drink with the steroid? Does that make it worse? I don't know. They didn't say if he was drinking. It may have been an egg bar, an omelet. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you got the raw eggs at a bar. It's like, I'll take He's a raw rocky. egg and, and vodka. <laughs> I'll take it. the Rocky one. I'll take the, what is that? The Rocky with the Jaeger shot on the side. 
Jesus. <laughs> the friend said Ray didn't love her like she loved him. It sounded like he was taking the money. Wait, he he was taking and the she, money. But she was like, a, fell out of she love. She was obsessed with him. Yeah. Like she, her whole life was Ray McNeil. Right. She wanted him and that was it. And she, then. Remember she saw the number on the phone bill. That's where she found out about Mary Ann. And she so went, she's like, I love I walked over to, to the 7-Eleven. Why'd she go to the 7-Eleven? So it couldn't be traced? I guess. So she's you like, would, I called her and said, you no longer belong to Gold's Gym. If you go, I'm going to kick your ass. She threw the woman out of Gold's Gym. Dice would be heartbroken for this lady. <laughs> How she was in she the cage. How control to bar somebody and kick or kick somebody out of Gold's Gym? But I think she would kick her out. But how would she know? Is she like, have you seen this woman? Did you keep showing the picture? By the way, Dice told me he used to see them at Gold's in Venice. Really? Yeah. Were they fighting? Sa- no. I mean, he said he said it was just... Was he jealous of Ray's uh, shirts above the nips? <laughs> he was like, I'm going to get that shirt. Dice, gonna, like that. myself, we're he both, does wear those we're both of Jewish shirt. descent. Yes. Dice is a hairy man. I'm a hairy man. All these guys, very hairless. Was you, Dice you jealous? Nair, you nair it off. Yeah. Was yeah. Dice jealous of the No. Hair? No. Okay. No, he, he learned early on how to get rid of it. And they he, would know Dice was working out when they he were- He manscaped. They'd see all his body hair on the bench uh, on some of the equipment. <laughs> Dice would manscape, but I think these guys t- shave their whole body. I believe. Yeah, the wrestlers yeah. too. Yeah, uh, the, like the, swimmers. The friend alleges that Ray was going to leave uh, Sally for Marianne. Hundred percent done deal. And that's uh, it, so. When he said that Ray called him and said, "Meet me at the house," do you think he was like, "Meet me at the house"? Because it seemed like he knew there was going to be a problem. He's like, "I need." And he, they, and, and Sally though begged the person. guy. Sally, they she both. She did beg him. To she stay. begged him to stay, saying like things are going to get bad. And he got so hungry. This guy goes. This guy had to leave to go get food. She. By begged the way, him. his pictures in the background. He was pretty jacked. Too. He was yeah, pretty. But he shrunk as an older guy. Yeah, but he still looked normal. And he had his, his medals. Shrink looked he had normal. His, he had his. Yeah. Med- he had his medals on display. His shrink didn't look terrible. Yes. So with a shirt off though, he, it all sags down to the floor. <laughs> And he has huge nips and small balls. He takes it out and it's just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she, the friend, Ray, they both, oddly, Ray and Sally both want the friend there. He comes and then he leaves to get food. And in that time period, Sally blows this guy's brains out. Yeah, like what did this guy get? Yeah, what was what the, took what so was his long? food Could go to McDonald's? He should go back to the restaurant and say, the amount of time you guys took caused my friend <laughs> to get killed. <laughs> what are you going to sit down dinner? <laughs> Guys, it's Valentine's Day. Hurry That's up. That's true. That may be what may have gone to like Ooh. a nice restaurant. Or, well, even if he went, well, yeah, a fast food place. But maybe the fast food place is further away. Who knows? In this, uh, then in, late in the documentary series, they all of a sudden just flash back to Sally's childhood like out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, why are, we, why are we doing this now? Well, to show her sweet friend who was very Did sweet. You that lady was very nice. A piece of uh, something the friend was wearing. What? The friend, uh, an African-American woman wearing a beautiful star of David Nicholas. I did not notice that. Yeah, my eye went. My eye went to oh, it. I was the intrigued. Jews find it. Right? I called. You her. just look for it. It's like you scan it. <laughs> look for the star. Look for the star. They said. Uh, I Sally- did notice on oh, her neck, like a necklace yeah, or earrings. Okay. They said the f- earrings. Someone wears earrings. You never know. I, I remember I bought Come these on. earrings, and Come it was on. the hand. And I thought they were pretty, and it's I called wore them. Hamsa, if you're I scoring at home. Thank you. I did not know, <laughs> and I wore them everywhere. Nice little Catholic girl. Jeez. I thought they were nice, but you, I'm inclusive. I love everybody. You're trying to make it in Hollywood. Everyone knows. She, everybody doing. knows. Uh, she <laughs> did. They said Sally did sports because uh, she, like she just wanted her parents approval. Oh, what a terrific diet! She had a stepfather who had. They had new kids. Classic. The parents have their own kids. And then the, the, there it is. It's the pretty. kids from the previous How relationship cute. get pushed aside. So Sally got no attention. She gets into sports. Always then, get into sports to help yourself. Then we find out Sally's got a type of uh, of man she likes. Not that there's anything wrong with it. To quote What's Seinfeld. the type? She oh, a black, black guys? guys? Oh, okay. So I was ninth like, grade. Wait, I was a, thinking bodybuilder, and I was like, well, oh, that guy was built nice. Ninth grade, she had a secret black boyfriend. And how terrible her parents. Parents find out. She said, I could hear my mom coming home. Mom gives a you're dating an end bomb. Hard <laughs> end I, bomb. Like, she goes, I, this is why I have issues with the bright lights being turned on. I'm is like, how a- many bright lights <laughs> <laughs> triggered this? And by the way, they had never mentioned that the bright, she had problem with bright lights. So that came no. out of nowhere. I was like, wait, what? I was like, okay. And, and the, mo- the so that's- So the parents punished her basically all summer for dating a black guy. But 
when Sally went to prison who raised her kids who were half black. The grandma right. who they dropped get, that hard M bomb. So she. But ref, they also she, that's a reform. That's good. That's they were reformed. Yeah. But they also were al- huge alcoholics. Alcoholics, a different time. Like even she said, she goes, they were raised in that time, and this, this is separate, and it should be separate. But the, the, then they put her in a school, and, it, and she's competing, and everybody she's on the teams with, and her best friend, they're all they black. Put her who in cares? the blackest sport, diving. That is a very black sport. <laughs> Wow, facetious is... um... (laughs) It's the word of the day. (laughs) Sally had one semester left of college, couldn't afford it. Uh, I don't know if she didn't know about loans. I was going to say, why drop out? Especially (laughs) back then there was... Dropped out, went to the military. She said, ruined her dream of becoming a gym teacher, which is heartbreaking. (laughs) She is the classic gym teacher, by the way. That would be great. She's like, hey, Kerrigan, pick up... (laughs) Kerrigan, you got to climb the rope. (laughs) <laughs> you could do it. Get up. If I could do it, you could do Look, it. Watch get me do it. She takes off. Don't her, get me mad. Takes right? off her she top. Flip out. She's like, Fitness is important, you idiots. <laughs> Run a lap. She starts choking me. I'm like, hey, I didn't think that was your thing. <laughs> she has an affair with like an art teacher. Gets pissed that he's fucking another woman there. <laughs> oh, you, you're gonna fuck the student council. <laughs> you piece of shit. Get over here. <laughs> he picks the principal up. Gets him in a headlock. <laughs> Throws them down doing, those concrete stairs, or those doing metal res- stairs. Wrestling videos on the side that people find out about. Holy shit. She would have been a great teacher is what we're saying. She, there would have been a lot of affairs. So she meets the boyfriend in the military. They go over that, had the kids, uh, some domestic violence yeah, there. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Now, part three, we're, uh, part, this is part two. We're completely yeah. backwards. Completely backwards yes. now we're into her childhood. Yes. Fix yourself documentaries. The next documentary I'm doing, I'm starting out. You're out of order. Yeah. Way out of order. So then they get they get into the court case after that. The douchebag prosecutor, this guy had a flair for the dramatic. He opens up opens the case on Valentine's Day. <laughs> He's like, I in think it would face. be a good idea. He called her a, a bu- year later. He called her a bully and a thug. He did call her a bully and a thug. In a talking head, by the way, one of my favorite, another one of my favorite interviews with her, <laughs> she, I forget what she was talking about, but she's like, look, I'm not a sophisticated woman. <laughs> I, I don't like, speak probably, I know what she was talking about because she, they, or she, said whether she or wanted not, to testify yeah, she, and she, she wanted to talk to the media. Yeah, I was like, yeah, maybe not. Even though your lawyer stunk, I you think should she, never testify, you should never go on the stand and you should never, ever speak to the media, which she didn't. They at least didn't let her do that. When she said that, it brought me back to a favorite childhood movie of mine, Stripes, the beginning, uh, the first half, second half is terrible. You're not wrong. But when John Candy says, uh, I have a problem with, with overeating. <laughs> no, <laughs> you? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> the writing when she said the sophisticated woman, I was like, come on, no, what? I don't buy it. Yeah, yeah, you know, I just like eating eggs and lifting weights. <laughs> <laughs> so me because i'm not that educated either so i would be a nervous wreck to speak but to i'd probably be taking naps you don't sound the, like sally McNeil. but i would probably be taking naps at the, the court because i sally get overwhelmed McNeil, and i go to sleep sally mcneil is you and you are that's sally not McNeil. true because i wouldn't shoot somebody with a shotgun <laughs> not yet I would do a 45. That's why you haven't been execution married. Execution style. You haven't been married because you know you- And you'd, everything would be cleaned up properly. You know you'd be Sally McNeil if you got married. That's why you only get engaged. Well, you might be right. <laughs> you might have a point there. They said d- during this time of her trial, it was like a lot of angry women in the media. Lorena Bobbitt. Oh, they had to uh, bring up Nancy Kerrigan. Kerrigan. throw that in why? there. Which why? Which is so awful. I mean, it was the year she's of from, the white trash She's from angry. my neck of the woods. Yeah. Nancy, not- trash ass Nancy Tanya. <laughs> Tanya I Tanya by the way one of the greatest movies never seen it oh my god you have to see all it. right I'm gonna go watch it right now um it's so good so but uh, yeah all these women were in the media and then that news lady I forget her name because she angered me oh she was so annoying fucking, uh, uh. with the she's a shooter what was the quote she said? She had some shitty byline. Yeah, it was a real dumb byline that got her... Uh, it was real late. Instead of like shooting steroids, she's shooting her of, husband. Instead of <laughs> something lifting stupid like that. weight. Yeah, something like that. So, so stupid. I, she made me so But angry. then at the end was like, you know, I think I did wrong by Sally. And it's like, yeah, you think, you fucking idiot? Yeah. You fucked and her. And she did because that's the thing. Look, I, I had a, a good friend, bodybuilder. She was into bodybuilding. Not a small girl, probably like six foot. And 
she, her boyfriend was into bodybuilding. They moved from Chicago to L.A. And he was beating the shit out of her. Was it Sally? But she was big. And so nobody believed her. And she'd be bruised up and whatever. And this guy was all roided out. And she's just trying to keep up with him. And she stayed in this fucking relationship. Seems like for a while. bodybuilders need to date outside the bodybuilding market. Yeah, but market. I'm just saying also this. Women, if we're getting beat up, please, there's help out there. There's other men out there. There's a million of these idiots. I'll I'm date. Fine. I'll date you. <laughs> Sally said she was going to leave. She claimed she was like oh, no, right on the verge of leaving. Do you believe they were packed and ready to go? I do not believe that. Because where would the suitcases be? It just sounds convenient after the fact leaving. to be like, I was about to go. But, but the like, kids eh. said it too. But I think she may have told them that but never followed through. Right. She's like, we're going to leave. We're oh, leaving. We're getting out of here. Let me kick the mailman's ass one more time. On that the fucker way. gave you a look. But I feel terrible Jesus. because she, I do think we women do get stuck in these relationships yes. and they feel like they're not worth anything. And that's what this woman did. And they that DA, he went after all that shit. Yes. He preyed on that. He when they when she took the stand and she was she was answering military style. She just said yes, sir, no, sir. Yeah. What you have to show but she shut down, I think. She got nervous. That's what happens. I'm a shutdowner. I'm a shutdowner. So maybe Sally and I are the same person. You're Sally Kerrigan. It's uncomfortable. Maybe that's your man name, Sal Kerrigan. I go by Killer Sally Kerrigan. <laughs> Kill, Killer Eleanor. <laughs> Uh, they, her lawyer went with the battered women's syndrome defense, and I didn't know this. They had an expert who said that the brain of a woman in a situation like this is like that of a POW. Yeah, because, is, because uh, that's uh, PTSD, the stress. Yes, and it and you just stay in it because you don't know what to do. You, yeah, you, you don't freeze. see any. You don't see a future. You don't see a way out. You don't see a light in any way, shape, or form at the end of a tunnel. You just stay there and take it. And you're like, well, this is good. We have a house. We have food. Meanwhile, she was the one supporting him. She had all the eggs. And Ray, and Ray had- All the eggs were in her in basket. One, yeah, her big old <laughs> basket. Uh, Sally, this is where her lawyer really fucked up. Big time. Sally's daughter wanted to like really tell her story. Sally's daughter said, she's like, yeah, I think her lawyer blew it uh, in hindsight. Uh, so t- the judge was like, oh, her daughter, I've never heard of this in a court case. Well, like, when a kid's overwhelmed like that and crying, so yeah, like, she the, couldn't get it out. So the judge put a stop to the daughter's testimony. And then the son out of nowhere in his interview was like, I wouldn't have cried. I would have got up there. I would have said what I needed and to they say. And didn't, they didn't put him up Why He wasn't he allowed was to. I don't young. know. Why. I think he said he's too young. They don't want him to be exposed. Yeah. Then, so these are like her two big witnesses prime, prime witnesses like, they lived in all this and they're not gonna lie and they did say the mom hit too they yes. did say the they're mom. like our poor mailman and i feel bad that like i mean obviously it comes out she does get convicted uh 25 years you imagine by the way the mailman when he goes back to the post office and the, the one guy's like oh this is german shepherd on my route like chase me all the time <laughs> this guy's like oh i work Oh, this lady came out of nowhere. Because you, somebody's got to take Killer Sally's route. <laughs> They're like, I don't want to do it anymore. I, I broke my arm, <laughs> my good mail delivering He's in arm. A sling. She's like, which arm do you hand the mail? I went, fucking bashed it. One of her clients is like, oh, that's so hot. I'm <laughs> inside. Guys are jerking off to her beat him up outside. <laughs> Kids are like, mom, the schmoes are here. She's like, oh, don't call them that. They're paying our bills. <laughs> By the way, that's the thing, weird thing for Ray that these guys are paying his bills. It, so it's basically like I guess if you, date, him, if you date a porn star or an OnlyFans, like it's simple. Yeah, different, I'm not, I don't have a lot of feeling for Ray one way or the other. I think Ray was driven. He wanted what he wanted, and that was it. He wanted to come in fifteenth. He didn't want to work. He wanted what he wanted. He was trying to to you know jump up. He didn't win that one competition where she said he was winning. He was winning. He won like the one to become to a pro. To get him into the that, pro. After oh, that, he never it. won. Right, anything. right, right. Okay. So, like he's short. He's bad calves. Yeah. His penis doesn't go the right way. And By the way, he had that thing pushed up. Oh, they in those always Purple do. shorts. Well, I, I think mean, they're small. Just, I think it just sits tight. He, I mean, he might have had something in the back pushing it forward. Yeah, they put uh, like a ruler in there. Like in those their new butthole. Gold's gym sweatpants. Get them, guys. <laughs> Check them out. Put your cock right in there. Sally said, I ended up testifying. I think that was the worst thing I could have done. The lawyer said, that was the one, her lawyer's dumb, but he's like, don't do it. And she's like, no, I, I got it. I could do it. And then, and then gets course. up there and fucking puts her foot in her mouth 18 times. Do you? That think- prosecutor ate her alive. He's like, 
You're oh, known yeah. as Killer Sally McNeil, aren't you? And she's like, no. Yes. Oh, why would she lie about that? But they that? said she didn't lie. Her, no, that's her lawyer claims she's her literal. Her lawyer's stupid, and that was dumb. He, the literal aspect is dumb. He claims it was a character. Get the fuck out of if here. Somebody sh- said, do you go by Easy Rider? I would say, yes. When I wrestled, I went by Easy Rider. And you would say, here's a tape of my yes. match. You hand them out. I see you, the fans. All Absolutely. The but I would never say, no. I don't know who Easy Rider is. So That's once, a dumb thing she did. Once she said no, the prosecutor was allowed to get a poster in that was excluded. Like the judge said, not it's not allowed. Yeah. Then it got in. It was her posing with the <laughs> shotgun that she killed Ray with, and it said "Killer Sally" over it. Like the lawyer's like, yeah, that was it bad. It said "Killer Sally," and then Ray was laying at the bottom, <laughs> she, and that was weird. And the mailman too. <laughs> Poor mailman. <laughs> Just a bunch of men she beat up. They're like through s- rain, sleet, snow, steroid women attacking us. <laughs> uh, her lawyer was so good at his job that he said, I think I was in a disasso- disassociative state during the cross-examination of Sally. This guy was checked. This guy was disassociating. This guy would represented her for He's murder. The fucking dumbest man. I've I ever think heard. I could have. I was furious with you, sir. I if think you're so. Ra- if you're still practicing, stop. I think I could have repped. The rest I know lawyer that and- shit. Da still out there oh, ruining he people's sucks. lives. That guy had a mullet. He was Ugh, terrible. I hate him. Uh, so that prosecutor loving every second of his screen time. He goes. There's nothing better than doing a closing statement when the world's your oyster. Just like this interview. There's nothing you can say that won't make me love it. I was like, you're a fucking piece of shit, scumbag. I fucking You can't feel good about having her locked up for the amount of time she was locked up for. 25 years from a top... Look, I'm not saying she should have killed Ray. Of course not. And that second shot They should have just broken up. Just be done with it. That second shot was tough. I do not... But she's To the face. A blind rage. She's in a blind rage. It's Valentine's. It's Valentine's. He's with Marianne. And she's your he doesn't have chocolates in his hand. None of her schmoes are wrestling. He doesn't have his cock propped up properly. (laughs) He's not wearing his. He's not. This isn't exciting for her. She's pissed. She had made probably made him eighty four eggs and he didn't come home to eat them. Do you think like so he came home, he starts cooking, FYI, which is weird. He's got to get then, that protein immediately. <laughs> he's These guys eat like 18 times a day, true. by the way. So he's cooking, and maybe he's saying shit to her. Like, what did he punch her? I think, it, her I think it became of like the Mary, like the Marianne stuff, and like maybe Ooh, we're going to break yeah. up, that sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then, or he brought up- Where were you? You down in McCabe's with Marianne? That slut, that whore. And he's like, you know, I'm leaving, whatever. And then I think she lost it. The and kid, her it. daughter says he choked her that night. She got, I think then she's like, I've had enough, I'm done. She, I think, had a Ray blind rage, grabbed the gun, and that was it. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, that that was it. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. We're being played off as the I audience. I like I it. I was trying to find some more Killer Sally stuff. But, uh, <laughs> Netflix doesn't want the people to know. Whoa. Oh, really? Well, no, I think, I think oh. they won't be able to watch on Netflix. They'll hear about it here. Got it. They'll hear uh, about it here. She was guilty of second degree murder, which the, they explained was intent to kill somebody unlawfully. There's no excuse. There's no reason. She and got 19 years to life, ended up doing 25. That's fucked up. Because uh, I think there was a reason. She's like, so Might I. might have been the great one, but. She's it like, was I'm like, doing time up in Chichilla, California. It's fucking you, terrifying. You've heard of that? Yes. She's like, it's the armpit of America. It's, By it's the a way, terrible jail. What about New Jersey? Armpit of America. Armpit, Jersey's pretty bad. Jersey has some shitty jails too. When I went to college, people, California has a lot. I went to my first year of college. I went to University of Maryland. There's a lot of Jerseyites, and people would be like, "Oh, it's the armpit of America." <laughs> they were trained to say by their parents, "Like, what about Staten Island?" All of them. That Staten was, Island. That was their defense. All of them. <laughs> I was like, "You've been trained to say that." Uh, we get into what the kids uh, turned out as, and turns out seeing uh, your stepfather murdered in cold blood does not go well for you. Doesn't work out, but I'll no. say this. The they daughter, both fall her into the military, which wasn't good for them. The daughter was a little older, mm-hmm. and this is the part- Daughter that, had a kid now. Let me say this. This is the part that bothers me. I got hit growing up. I don't know if you did. I didn't get hit nearly as bad as my older brothers and sisters. Um, they were tired by the time uh, My brothers. I should say My brothers. Period, because all my brothers got Bobby didn't so much, but down to me and Billy. Then my dad left. Hit? You mean like spanked or like attacked? No, 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 no. Like, like there was a attacks. point where um, like slapped in the face. No, punched. Being, punched in the face. Yeah, like wow. my brother Jimmy. My brother Jimmy and Charlie probably got it the worst. Charlie, I would say, 
had it the worst. Absolutely. Jesus. But there was a Took point. Took a dark turn here. Where I know where I Jimmy. Go. But this is what I want to say because my brother Jimmy, right, took really bad beating. This is the one with the calves. To, yes. And Do you think to the, the calves point, kind of happened due to these from these beatings? Possibly, but to the point where he couldn't go into my aunt Joy's at Christmas. Like he was, he had to stay in the car because he was beat up that bad. Right. What What was the explanation? Why did he get beat up? No, I'm saying like they oh, explain why, why he, just, he didn't come in. No. Just nobody talked about anything. We're very Irish. We don't so, talk about but, Jimmy. No. <laughs> so we go. Jesus. Merry this Christmas. Is, okay. So this is terrible, Christmas right? Christmas with the Kerrigans. And his thing, he has children. Yes. Never touch them. He might give them a look. He might threaten, but he never hit his kids. Ever. So and broke, his kids are fully grown. He broke the cycle. Now, these kids got hit, whatever, beat up, whatever. Saw their mom yes. get beat up by this man and then both of them the girl gets in a relationship where she's getting beat up well, yeah, same and then cycle. a guy gets in a relationship and he's beaten up now why don't why are we not learning from things i'm but not saying my brother's better but i'm saying sometimes that's though, impressive that, that cycle he, repeats it is impressive that he broke it. My, my sister karen too like everybody kind of like so you're saying the kerrigans are the best no but i'm saying they made it a <laughs> conscious effort not to do that because it was so bad but I think it's hard to not repeat these patterns in their defense. And they saw somebody murdered in cold. In so the son, I had guess to, the son had to walk over the. St- it bothers Ray me. Ray McNeil's like, dead body to leave the okay, apartment. Okay, but my mom, I watched my mom get beat up. Not me. I didn't, luckily. Uh, but these kids, these poor kids that are yes. out there. And I feel terrible because I just, I'm trying to figure out how, how do we fix this? How do we like, not, not you and me right now, but in the world, like, how does this get fixed that. She watched her mom get her ass kicked. So did the son. And then they both repeated. I think therapy. Being is, the victim and being the victim. I think the therapy is key. And abuser. I don't know if the kids ever oddly got it. Just seemed like, because they obviously went through some very traumatic. They saw the guy was dead in the. Agreed. Kid. That's, agreed. That's a crazy thing to see. Yeah. Unbelievable. So I think that set them. And obviously their parents were in it. They were, all they knew was toxic relationships. That was their model. Mm. And then uh, the son joined the military, which I think for they both saw combat, the, both the son and the daughter. One was Iraq, one right, was Afghanistan, right. which I think furthers that. I uh, mean, if we all followed in my dad's footsteps and went in the Marines, maybe we would have repeated behavior. He seemed angry at Sally at times. He said he wished that she had uh, considered him and his sister when she was pulling the trigger. And for a long time, he didn't talk to her. That's crazy too. That like it sat with him. You're talking about the son, yes, right? who seemed very dead inside. Well, he just seemed so angry because he's yes. so young, and so it's all bottled up. But he, so I mean, happens, so he saw murder, just, violence, and then he went and did. Then he was in the military. But then he just represses, represses. Then yes. he goes into the military, and then he he's said, like, he said he had a substance abuse problem as well. Right, that he was treating. Uh, Sally in the documentary she gets out 2020 it did 25 years gets out of prison unbelievable they, still they viable were, they were still there, young they were there the day she got out did she get out on Valentine's Day I forget I think she said like, oh, I'd like to make a request <laughs> <laughs> they said uh, the gym equipment's not getting used as much as up in Chichilla, wherever the hell she is. So she went to live at a veterans uh, Which is very facility. Nice. Yes. She was running down the street, skipping rope at the same time. Amazing. Unorthodox workout technique. Very, no, it isn't. I like that. You don't see that a lot. When did the last time you saw someone skipping rope and running down the street? I've done it. You do it in LA? No, I, I did it this. as a kid. Yeah, this lady's a, <laughs> how old is she, 50 something year old woman? Um, she yeah, meets she a guy. Sally meets in. a man, and the, like she has to go to like a weekly meeting. This is something I love about Sally. These are for I think I think specifically for veterans who are getting out of prison. Yes, this program. So now she's amongst people that have been in same situations. Yes. Like I mean, yes. when she she meets someone, falls in love, and they're like, you know what she was in jail for, right? Yeah, they're telling the guy like, hey, it's man. kind of fucked. And up. She's like, I'm trying to take it slow, you know, because he fell right in love with me, and I was like, this oh. guy loved me, but that's like, what you Sally, mean, Sally still got it. I love that Sally still had hope, still got out, and was like, oh, still, I can meet somebody. And I like fall that she still love. put out. She put out. She good said, for you. Is she doing the video? Is she back on the scene? They're like Sally's out. I really hope that she has a beautiful rest of her life because it sucks. It sucks. And I she and lost I like, a lot of her life. She lost a lot of it. And I I don't think Ray needed to die, but problem. It would have been crazy 
even let's just say he she didn't kill him he would have gone on to do some wild shit to somebody else maybe more than likely did you like though it ended with sally's wedding Yes. It looked like it was in... Uh, <laughs> I love the music. Where was it? Was it like a restaurant? Or I don't know what it was. Like maybe a... Maybe a chapel? Or maybe or like, like a a, the, the rec room of their or, facility? Or maybe it was a rec room. Yeah, because... Because I could hear pool balls. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> uh, so, yeah. So it ends with the wedding and the guy's like... It has a happy ending. They're like, you may kiss the bride. And classic. This is a class. A class is older black man. He goes... Oh, that may take a that while. That may take a while. I was like, what, are you going to fuck her Hey, up get it, boy. Yeah. I loved when she would dance because she was so oh, muscle-bound. So they did funny. one video of her on New Year's and she had the worst. She looked like Van Damme dancing in Bloodsport. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> she's really getting into it. But I love that it that she has that and it, it, she's building the relationship back with her kids. They had one video where, she, where Ray was yelling at her in the video. Yes. He's like, stop uh, filming Christmas. me. He's like, stop the, filming me. And it was Christmas. And the way he looked at her, I was like, oh, hell no. I stopped filming. I shut the thing off. And Christmas violence, apparently a thing. It is a ba- it's a giant thing. Well, people get boozed up. Boozed up, but also it's a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, not enough gifts, not enough this, not enough that. Not enough fists. Well, apparently not a problem. <laughs> Some households. <laughs> you can't start a car with two kids in it. That's Would you happened. recommend Killer Sally to the public? 100%. What would you give it? Uh, a scale of five dumbbells. Mm, four. Scale of five camel toes. But she didn't really have. There was uh, not a lot no, of camel toes. A little camel bit of disappointment in my eyes. You got upset. I mean, I was. He ho- had more camel toes. Watching this made me pretty horny. I believe. I'm that. not gonna lie. The Pam Anderson one, not as horny as this one. Wow, <laughs> and yeah. Imp- impressive. Yeah, because there's nudity in the Pam Anderson one. A but lot. This of it. one, when you see a schmo's face. Buried in Sally's muscular, and you see his tube swinging. By the way, did his comb over right? comedian from the Comedy Store, Mark Ellis, uh oh, take the name Schmo's nose for his oh, movie reviewing? Shit. Is he into? Is this a <gasps> nod into what he's Mr. Se- Ellis? Is this what he's secretly into? I'm gonna have to call. Is him Is he on wrestling muscle bound women? <laughs> Mark, Mark, if that's true, we want to see the video. And we want to review it for so the next for, for our section episode. of like what would make a good documentary, I'm taking right from this documentary. I want a spinoff. On? I want to see the schmoes. Yes. I want to know more about this world. I want to know more about you schmoes. What like, are you what like? What you're thinking. Do you have families? Do you have wives? Do they allow this? What's your budget uh, like, that you spend on you this? Go- <laughs> where are you going again? You saw Sally, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> Shut up. I love her. You can't make me come by getting me in jujitsu holds. <laughs> she can. Did Sally make you jizz on your pants this is again? Still, this is God still, damn it! I just bought you those. This is still an industry. Oh, of course, that guy was still out there. I was listening to uh, another podcast, and uh, they were talking about Dana White's slap fighting league. Okay, which is crazy because Dana White recently slapped his wife on uh, film right before, and TBS is like, you know what? Let's run it. Let's He's try- trying to promote. <laughs> intergender matches so there's a woman i guess who's intergender match there's a woman who's winning in slap fighting and i guess okay. she's a muscle wrestler video lady Ooh, yeah they called it something like something dom i think uh, yeah dom the uh, dominatrix dom herrera dom, dom herrera <laughs> he trains them. dom herrera has a hell of a slap <laughs> he, tra- he trains these women to wrestle dom sally was trained by the way the the scumbag guy who they oh absolutely he trained her how to like squeeze a guy's head they were doing him. bumps they were doing like not those kind of bumps they were doing the wrestling bumps they were doing like things in the backyard and then he's Remember like, you know what going? turns guys on just squeeze their head as hard as you can with your thighs her thigh master's broken. That was one of the jokes. Her thigh master's broken. By the way, so the, some of those videos were- Your head. Those videos were terrible. They showed oh some of her God. videos. She, How is she making any money? It was like porno like dialogue. It's like, you want to wrestle? You're not going to beat me. Get in here. It was like- <laughs> Then the prosecutor's like, oh yeah, we got this one wrapped up. In the bag. <laughs> so I want to see- this world of muscle domination. We we need to see schmoes. And I want to enter it. I want to take the shirt off. I got to be honest. You're wearing it's multiple layers. The biggest shirt I've ever. <laughs> it's for like a fat guy. <laughs> it's for like 10 fat guys. Why did you get Look that size? I'm not even in it. Why did you get that size? Um, you, I didn't. Were you Andrew pregnant with me. triplets <laughs> at the <laughs> time? What, so we would get them and uh, this could have just been one of Andrew's shirts. Like 
because you know it'd be cold or something just throw it on over after you worked out we're hanging in venice and then the shirt was just long so i took he's it. like you know what'll look good on you are you wearing just a fanny big, pack i do have a fanny pack what has happened to you um have you gone full bodybuilder we were going bodybuilder you're not even showing it that's on well, the inside i had it tucked that's in. just I had a mindset all tucked in you're going full Joe Rogan. This is my favorite thing in the world. I just bought this. Why are you going with a fanny pack? I'm a fanny pack girl now. You are a true because Sally I, McNeil. You I'm going to say what Joe Rogan said is accurate. What? I travel a lot. And digging through a bag to find, because you have to have the backpack too. What about pockets? Di- I don't do pockets, and I always things fall out. You don't do pockets, meaning if I have like sweatpants on, yeah, my ideal fall right out of that. By the way, this is a big problem in my relationship. I'm constantly telling Courtney about shallow pockets and shorts, and she does, she gets so annoyed. But I'm like, my keys fall out, my phone falls out if I'm in the car and I can't yeah, find so it. So you need a fang bag. I'll get you one. You can't I'll call it you that. And- How, we're gonna get canceled. <laughs> oh, you can't. Jesus. It's a, it's, I think it's a good thing. You said fanny pack with a Philadelphia accent. Fanny pack. Yeah, there you go. Fanny bag. Fanny pack. Are we doing on time? Oh, we're at one. We got. Okay. Can we so, do a quick? I want to do a quick book conversation. So let's do a quick book conversation. <laughs> Look, at Look at all, all your cards. cards. Jesus. Ugh. How many of those are Gold's uh, Gym memberships? AARP. Oh, no, that's not. Triple A. They just got your Triple A card number, you idiot. Now they're going to be cares? getting They're going to be getting benefits. Get 10 toes. I think it's expired. It's expired. And why do you <laughs> carry it? Because I didn't put the new one in What yet. kind of bag is that? I don't know. I got it when I bought these sneakers. What Brooks. are those? Brooks Avias? running shoes. Why are you wearing Brooks? I don't know. They said they're good for your feet. Brooks was here. Brooks was here. What movie? Shawshank Redemption. Whoa, I didn't think you were going to get that. Yeah, don't play that game with me. My we're going to close playing. on the first ever on this show book review quickly. So we read Jeanette McCurdy's I'm Glad My Mother's Dead. Right. And it's the opposite of what Sally would write. This is, <laughs> uh, my if you don't know who she is, she was on the show iCarly. iCarly. And had a spinoff, which I'm blanking on. I'm sorry, I'm not a big Nickelodeon. Uh, Me either, but it was with uh, Ariana Grande, That correct? was, yes, one of her, I think um, her big first thing. Her mom, uh, and it's about her relationship with her mother. <sighs> it's a memoir. Okay, again. On the cover, Gerard Carmichael says, uh, surprisingly funny. Sam and Cat was the spinoff. Lena Dunham uh, said something else on the cover. It was weird. I was like, why is she so you? Here's the thing. You read physically the book. Correct. I did the you, audio. Well, that doesn't Because I as, drive around and I'm on the plane. It doesn't count as reading. The, Who read it? Her? Uh, it wasn't her. Who was it? I, was it her? I don't know. Was it Harvey Firestein? No. It was a girl. Was it Stallone? But it, I'll tell you this. Your little pet peeve with it, with all the little... um. The details? Details and like trying to be funny. I don't like in memoir in memoirs when details are added, it drives me crazy. Does it say who read it? I was going to look it up. It's read by Morgan Freeman. <laughs> I believe it's read by Jeanette McCurdy. She did do it? Okay. So maybe she did, because the girl was fine. The girl that read it was fine. I don't know her at all. I didn't know anything about her. I've I never seen her. I Carly. I dated her for a few years. Um, but I did love the book i gotta be honest yeah. um yeah. It meaning that i i it was her purge it was her getting it all out well she did have bulimia if that's what you're there you go but my thing is is her mother is a psycho correct and it took her until 20s i don't think she still even will fully admit that her mother was a psycho but i also understand her defense of yes her mother but she has like stockholm syndrome it's exactly. basically what we were talking about with, with yes. Sally and Ray. It's like yes. she didn't like, she's like, I love you, but I also kind of hate you. Like it was that sort of relationship. <laughs> and it's her mother. So you can't like as a kid, what's she going to do? Move away? She has, she needs her mother. But the fucking dieting parents, can we stop fucking doing her this Her mom girl? put her on, well, her mom was, her mom claimed that her parents wouldn't let her become an actor. And so she's like, I'm going to make you an actor. And, okay. and Jeanette wanted to please her mom, didn't want to do it, but was like, oh, yeah, great, yeah, okay. Yeah, she had yeah. no interest in it whatsoever, yes. according to the book, and this is her memoir. Yes. So. And the mom's dead is why she wrote it now, yeah. which obviously with the title, it says, I'm glad <laughs> my mom's dead. Um, and the mom put her on these insane diets. Like, she'd only have sugar free popsicles. Are like, you out of your fucking starving, mind? legit starving her. And a pediatrician pulled the mom aside and said, hey, she's way underweight. And the mom's like, yeah, good job. It's crazy. Yeah. Celebrating what a pediatrician says. Craziest part of the book for me was 
just casually mentions the mom's bathing. That freaked me out. Showering Jeanette. Her and her brother. The brother's 16. Jeanette's, I think, like 13, 14. Showering them together and checking Jeanette for breast cancer and checking her vagina every shower. I don't know specifically. Did she? I mean, did she say breast cancer or is that she what she used? She said touching her boobies. I don't know. So she, because the when she felt like she was getting boobies, that's when she put her on a diet, which also fucked up her system. No, but she, Jeanette also said, I just wanted to be a little girl, but I think that's because she was being abused. No, she she said the mom wanted her to be a little girl because no, she that was too. getting the parts. Yes. That's what was keeping her on TV and employed. Yes. Her looking younger kept her employed. So a therapist is like, "That's abuse," and she's like, "Oh, is it?" I'm like, "That uh, you don't know that's Yee! abuse." What Your mother you shower you at sixteen. My or whatever? heart broke for her. You have pubes. The mom's like, "We got to shave those. You got to look young out there." But and Crazy. also, but it messed up her menstrual cycle. She didn't get it till years later. What a child! Years later. Jesus, that is so awful. What I mean, she basically stumped her gr- like. So the I, mom is just what, like, some sort of mental disorder? Had some sort of me- mental disorder? Obviously, and she was just. And like, I think the mom, the grandma, had hit on not a lot, but I think obviously it was like it was a cycle that went down. Yeah, and living vicariously. And the grandparents live kid. with them. Yes, they said the mom, Jeanette's mom, was a hoarder. Mm-hmm. The father, out of nowhere, they're just like, oh yeah, by the way, the father's not the father of any of these. So, her, her and her siblings. Who, okay, they didn't even address it really in the, the book. The grandparents that lived with her were her mom's, her maternal. Correct. Okay, Correct. so you, the house belonged to the husband's parents. I don't recall that. Okay, but so they were they had was, no, they had very little money. Yes, and they kept they had to pay rent too. Yes, I believe it was his parents, and they kept saying, if they're family, why don't they just give us the the house well Jeanette's mom they had a fight and it's like well he's not family because you're not his father they had a fight where Jeanette had to like basically sneak out as an adult or t- like a 20 or something year old to meet a guy yeah. and the mom's like you whore he, and like wrote her this crazy text that was like you're done I'm never talking to you again and then at the end by the way send me money I need a refrigerator I was oh like, yeah she left, she left I think it was like Three. 300 messages or something like that because she turned her phone off I'm with you I did that once to an ex-fiance I turned my phone off no, it was a beeper. Oh my God, was so long ago. It was the 90s, early 90s. And I turned it on and I had 165 messages on a beeper. Did the message get across? You had a call and it would go from- <laughs> So you had to call her 65 times. I had to call the fucking number and Jesus. listen. And so you call up and listen and it go from, I miss you, I miss you, I really miss you. Where the fuck are It was like bipolar. Wow. So I- I and then he's like, by the way, you have an audition for uh, Nickelodeon show tomorrow. The, <laughs> we went to couples therapy and I played it in the, in the the to the therapist. And she was like, um, this isn't good to him. And I was like, I told you. She's like, but this one is good. <laughs> 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 you so for me the book the, the humor attempts were driving me crazy but when she's it reading wasn't a funny it, book right but when she's reading it it didn't sound as bad okay but some of them came off like all right when she was making bits that weren't like i could tell she was t- like making things up that weren't true like and then i saw a the rock elaborate. just, just yeah. to shoehorn a joke in about the rock and i'm like what is this doesn't fit yeah. But I think that could be the editor or whatever, but it's just like, it, for me, it was like, this taking me out of this story. So you didn't like the book? It was okay. Like For me, I've read a lot of books, like memoirs about fucked up families. Got it. Like If you want The Glass Castle, oh, it, yeah. Courtney pointed out to me, is like a great s- story of like a, a family. Like this guy, the father's like a doomsday prepper, like yeah. homeschooled. Like they didn't know anything about the outside world. They were just so insulated had all these kids and I was like that and that to me that was like a better just bet I didn't really like Jeanette's writing all that much. Is the Glass Castle the one no that's not the one I'm thinking you made me read it and you said you, it reminded me of my family and I was like it does? <laughs> but it's not I don't think it was the Glass Castle. Yeah, it's probably some terrible um, story. <laughs> but it, it was pretty terrible she was like Brian and I and it was this they would travel all over like they were in West Virginia. Oh okay I remember that one. Uh, I, I can't that's think not of the, the that's name That's another of it. memoir like this. Yeah. I, I thought this was okay I thought it was mainly marketing the title people liked she, absolutely. But she, didn't she even, said that though but she, she didn't said, even hate, she didn't even title. hate it. she didn't like her mother didn't the title's not true she's she, not glad she's, she's not, dead she isn't she isn't i got from it but i thought that was a, a title just as a clickbait title it's like this will bring people in absolutely she knew what she was playing doing. the game yeah this i guess this, this was a one-woman show which makes sense the way it's written absolutely um 
for bits. Someone punched it up, I would imagine, because she seems to like stand-up comedy. She mentioned it a yes. bunch. Yes, uh, but my I think uh, my thing is I read it and I thought because you watch these shows and you're like, oh, these kids have the life. They're in this. What are you talking about? You watch any like E True Hollywood? They all are now. They turn out now, terrible. But I'm saying like you know people aspire to be her. Very rare. And here she is being abused by her mom. Like when that the to, to be that thin the showrunner and then the showrunner being a creep from the 80s and 90s show head of the class. Idiot! What a piece of shit! You want to sit on my lap? And Ugh. she was like nineteen. She was dating like a thirty-five-year-old crew member. Oh yeah, I hated that guy too. Who was like, oh, "You're not gonna blow me. You're not gonna do anything." Like, <laughs> she was a Mormon. Guys, stop with the manipulation. She was That's a Mormon, bullshit. and he's like, hey, "You know, you can suck it at least." Yeah. Oh, we don't have to have sex. We don't have to penetrate. But that, that's fucked up if you're going to leave me here like that. Stop with the guilt. Next time a guy does that to me, I'm stabbing him in the throat. She turned to... Uh, By the way, no one has to do that to me. They major know. alcohol problem. Major bulimia yes. problem. But that's what I'm saying. You keep kids. Now she's re uh, kind of vents herself as a, she's a writer. Now. She's adorable, I think. I watched her in a few interviews um, afterwards, and I do think Obviously she's Obviously you adorable. root for her. What a terrible yeah. life. Even though she has money, but it's like, who would trade that? She's like, I just wish I had a childhood. Yeah, but who what wants money? to work? She had a, she had to buy them a refri- She had to buy them everything. I think she, had, she said like, I'm thankful to my mom for like, I have financial, like, freedom. sure. I don't think she's loaded, but I think she's, she yeah. did all right. Yeah, and the grandmother being like, you're gonna go to an apartment. It's like, bitch, you. Oh, the grandmother like tried to like when the mom died, tried to turn it on it again. Her. She had to block the, the grandma on her phone. The learned behavior. It's like, oh, my mom did this, so I can do this to my kids. Stop it. Learn from it and don't do it. I thought the story was interesting. The way it was written, I didn't love. Got is, it. Is my takeaway. I. And that's not. I'm not saying like I'm not shitting on you know her life. I'm shitting on the way it was. Yeah. Delivered. Also, when Jeff's reading it, it's in Jeff's sarcastic. <laughs> I read it with a red pen. Negative I, mind. I circle things. How dare I grade it? <laughs> yes. I sent it to her. Grammatically, this isn't correct. Oh, I find, if I find a mistake in a book, a typo, it drives me nuts. Uh, that's why I listen, because I get nuts from typos, too. I'm, like, I'm kidding. I can't even spell. You read with typos regularly. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I like the audiobooks because if, especially if I'm driving I'm in the car a lot because I just zone out though I think if I'm no I get into it especially really? that one with the lady with uh, my niece would fall asleep we were driving across country listening to that one and I can't remember what it was called god damn it those parents were cra- they were they like homeless were crazy the mom like it turned out had an inheritance that she wasn't yes! using they were nuts I forget the name of that book it's, and but she, and her voice whomever read it whoever read it could have been the author but I didn't I didn't look it up. I just played it. But my niece was out like a light. <laughs> and I would be, oh my God. I dro- I was driving across country just loving that book. I think I would have Mr. T read the book about my life. I think that's a good idea. Who would you have to do yours? Andrew. Dice? Dice, yeah. And Why? then <laughs> Elena. <laughs> fell in love with me. Why wouldn't you? Like, that's not in the book. He would just go off on his own. You wouldn't read. Well, one, he can't read. <laughs> How Two. dare you? Yes, he can very well. And he's really? very judgmental oh, you of said people that. who can't. You told me that. Yeah, yeah. Like if I'm reading something with him and because uh, I'm like not a good reader, I'm, I get nervous and then the words get jumbled in my head. So I have to like watch, like wow. slow down. Shakespearean. I get a little Shakespearean fucked up. dice clay. And so he's like, you're not doing it with enthusiasm. I'm like, oh, I'm just learning like, it. I can't even like, read I get nervous. <laughs> like, yeah. But he's really good. He can pick up something and just. That's when his Ray McNeil comes yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. His Ray McNeil gets mad when he can't. You can't read. <laughs> Let's close on. Can you pull up a picture of Ronnie Coleman? Do you know who that is? Headphone off. Of it's killing my ear. Uh, Ronnie Coleman. Who's Ronnie Coleman? A, a bodybuilder. Body yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But wait, he's famous for saying "lightweight, baby." Lightweight, he, baby. Yeah, he, I think there's a documentary. There there's a documentary on him. I didn't see it. I heard very sad. He's now like wheelchair bound. He like fucked up his back from doing all the all. He this. was definitely what I was looking all at. All those as a butt kid. cheeks. What year is this? It's 1950s. Shut it. No, it ain't. You can't get that big in the 50s. Jesus. To 2023. He's not even human anymore. I just remember. Oh, look at him with the lightweight baby. He was a cop in his uniform. He looked crazy. Yeah. <laughs> He can't wow, do anything. Look of this at the anymore. back. It looks like an angel. I 
love that. That looks like an angel. See the back, the muscle, the it wings? It looks like someone who's not oh, human. Oh, I fucking love that. Look at those cheeks. Yeah, those are wings right there. Yeah, wings of his ass. I don't care. I think it looks awesome. Look, he's a butterfly ass. It's killer. You, you're bizarre. No, I'm not attracted to it. I just, just, if I could look like that. Why? <laughs> Because it's killer. That's you, awesome. Look at his fucking biceps. You want to look like right a there. freak? You can't wear clothes. You're a freak. You can't wear clothes you like this. You look like a freak. How dare you? Look at that guy. <laughs> Is that real? That's no. not real. No. No, it's not real. Oh, God. Yeah, now Ronnie Coleman from all the roids and I think all the lifting is the, spinal problems. The, who looks worse, the black guy or the white guy right there? The black guy, but both are fake. Yeah, but the, but look at the white guy's calves. That's how Jimmy's calves are. It's sickening. Ray, your calves are too small. You're never going to make it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yep. Look at his calves. Look at the back of his calves right there in the yellow. Ronnie Coleman, though, Looks was like, beautiful. he was no Ray. He won, he Look actually, at that. He won a lot of this shit. They're almost the same size as his thighs. That is a killer Then calf. he would be, well, imagine seeing this guy as a cop, barely fit in that uniform. <laughs> Don't worry. Look at him talking to Leno. Lot. Look at Leno looking at him with his. <laughs> he's wearing a, yeah. like a G string speedo. What is that? Leno just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I look like a woman. Uh, <laughs> he's flexing. There's really nothing there. Guy's wearing nothing but a speedo and boots. That's so On the great. Tonight Show. Hey, hey Ronnie, uh, what have you been doing? That's amazing. <laughs> I love it. I think you should date Ronnie Coleman now that he's- Is Ronnie still competing? No, he's, no. I, he's like bed bound. How old is he? He's like spinal problems. <laughs> you can't lift this sort of weight and age well. I know. I'm just saying. Lightweight, baby. Is he an old- 58. Ain't nothing but a peanut. That's nothing, Ronnie. Oh, look how small he is there. So sad. He had, he had catastrophic injuries to his back and uh, to, his, to his spine. I wonder why you're just pounding your body with weight. Poor Ronnie. Lightweight, baby. Well, yeah, Ronnie, I, we're thinking of I you. remember his name. I don't know him, obviously. You dated him. Like, I didn't watch, you know, his competitions. Does Dice stuff. look up to bodybuilders? No, but we, he introduced me to Lou Ferrigno. What do you, how do you introduce him? The Hulk? I, no, Lou. They, they work out together at the gym. He can't hear you that well? <laughs> <laughs> He's half deaf in both ears. You gotta what? talk That's slowly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real thing we say on the East Coast. He's half deaf in both ears. <laughs> so I don't that know full why. Deaf? I don't know why. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna beat him. <laughs> so I think that concludes. That concludes it. Another we episode did it. in the books. Yet another. Lift weights, everybody, but don't abuse anybody. And let women be bodybuilders, but don't kill anybody. Aw. Look at young Ronnie. So sad. Sweet. That sucks. Sorry, Ronnie. But you look awesome. You like people named Ronnie. <laughs> look at He's bigger than Arnold. Did you ever see the movie Jay Cutler? What's that say about Jay Cutler? Uh, the quarterback? No, that was a big bodybuiler, Jay Cutler. American Oh, okay. They were rivals, and Jay Cutler beat him. Uh, oh, right. I see it, yeah. I did think of the uh, quarterback for a second. Lightweight, baby. Lightweight, baby. Apparently not light enough to not destroy your spine. Is Jay Cutler in a wheelchair too? <laughs> look at, look him. at him with those lifeguard shorts on. Look at him. With, look at this. So unnatural. There he is in a frame shop. I think that's his house. <laughs> I love when they do the hair like that. Is he at a tennis court? What the fuck? Whoa. Look at that. He looks gigantic in a full size shirt. That's an eighteen XL. Like you're. That's wearing. why you need. Just he's the filling out. Yeah, he's filling he out. Doesn't. He's filling out what you're wearing. He has a YouTube channel. Jay Cutler net worth thirty million in twenty nineteen. Why didn't you reach out to any of these people to be on the show? I should Especially have. Especially Beretta. You're right. You're right. Uh, I could have got Mr. Beretta. By the way, if you're I'm out kidding. there I spoken and to you've Rich been in years. a documentary, reach out to us. Yes, reach out, please. Eleanor's phone number is 619-287-2543. That's a great number. Yeah. There it is. That uh, concludes this episode. Goodbye. What's up, Doc?